and sit down. Chat Comedy Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Patty Rosborough. I am one of the hosts of the show today. This is my, excuse me, my co-host, Carrie Karavis. How are you, Patty? You're am, talking into the mic, which is fantastic. I am, because I don't have my headphones on. It's so fantastic to be here with you, darling. And you're looking very cute with the pigtails. Yeah, you know, I, I'm sexy. getting a lot of hate reviews. What are you talking about hate reviews? Uh, my hair. They don't like it. But, oh, you know, already? if I was Kate Perry, everybody would be like, really? doing this tomorrow. I don't see anyone hating you. No, I did it live earlier. Oh, you did it live. Okay, well, let me tell you, it's very cute. I think it gives you a youthful appearance. Maybe it's the top one that's throwing everyone off. Yeah, that could be. Because it's one here and two on the side. If you had, like, little knee socks and a... Maybe if I was also 25. And a Catholic girl uniform. It might work better. Yeah, it's. I think it's cute. I like it. We have Somebody, two... Somebody's volume's on. Hello? Oh, is that Testing? me? Oh, no. That's Come your on. volume. Oh. No. That's From you. Carrie's. It's not mine. I turned it it's down. It's yours. Adam. Thanks. I, sorry, I thought I turned it down. Already. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's, a, that's up. Okay, I don't know how to... Okay, and we have two guests. We're starting off really retarded. We have two guests today. First of all, we have Teresa DeGatano. Woo! Yeah! Thank you for having Who, me, like, ladies. She's so just, cute. She's adorable. We I just, just met her. with recently. I know, you didn't know her. No, I did not. I'm at, you know, I'm at a loop. We did a show together in uh, Tappen. 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 We don't want to brag. In Tappen, New York. I got hit on by that chiropractor. Wasn't More he later. married, though? No. Oh, see, I divorced let him three times. But I knew that guy was up your ass a little too he far. Was. He was. Yeah, and he was interested. I was like, whoa, he's a bit out of my age yeah, range. But here's but the thing, too. They never know. Chiropractors make no money. Because, you know, you go to the chiropractor like twice, and then you leave, and you never go back. That's mm-hmm. right. So well, then they got to beg to you know, they got to keep adjusting you. They're like, well, you really got to come back 75 more times. But you really don't. I think they make a lot of money. No, and they don't. Oh, yeah. That nice office teeth. is packed. No, I well, that office always maybe, packed. But He's I packing. know a lot of most of the offices that I know, the chiropractors, they beg you to keep coming back. <laughs> well, they it's do. Hard. Absolutely. It's hard. It's and hard. that is <laughs> Megan Hanley. Oh, hello. Hello. Also, also very adorable. I called oh, it boy. hashtag sexy blondes today. Wow. Even though that's really kind of sexist. To talk about girls being good looking on a comedy show, we should be talking about how funny they are. But it's two really good looking girls. They are girls. very Listen, good looking. Yeah. I am very thrilled hot. to be back. I was saying I was here when you guys were in that, you know, that garage. Where were <laughs> we? Where were we? Adam, it's funny. Adam's it was an alleyway. Oh, it was Adam's apartment. apartment. Oh, oh. I, we didn't realize that. Okay. I just, I just remember going down an alley and it was somebody else's driveway and then and, all of a sudden you're in a basement. And there's Chinese people in the driveway looking at you like they yeah. want to kill you. Killing yeah. a cat. And then there's a good. Polish lady who wears like Polish clothing with lots of colors. Was really? that a, I don't know. Oh, maybe she wasn't Polish, but she had like, she wore an outfit. Tibetan. Oh, she is Tibetan. Okay, that's close. big difference. Huge. Hey, this is high enough for me. I keep having to turn See, my neck down. Uh, here. Okay. I need it higher. Okay. Here. There's always a problem with Patty. You you know what, Adam? You were right the first yeah, time. I was. I, 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 like I thought she didn't like it because you I couldn't see her face. I have a plate in my head. Um, you, but I you want do. to talk about... You have something in your head. Thank you. So what happened? Did the guy ask for your number? I want to know about the older man who's asking a young hot girl out and thinks he has a chance in hell. Well, he talked to George Saltz, 83-year-old George Saltz, and George DM'd me. What does DM mean? A, a direct message. Oh, I didn't I'm know what it meant sorry. either. And I was like, what are these DMs? So he, d- he sent me a message on Facebook and was like, hey, that chiropractor, he was interested and he wants to know if you're single. I was like, ah, no. But um, <laughs> I, I knew he was fishing. You always know. I was like, he was a little too friendly. Very he nice. Was way How, up old? Your ass. How old? How old? 60? You think he was in his oh, 60s? Oh, what the fuck? No. He had gray hair. Did he I not was... see the time lapse? No, they don't. No, they don't. The time no. traveling? They're the, the worst time with creepiness. They're, kind of they're the worst. They've Men com- are yeah, clueless. Yep. Yep. Men are clueless. Can I say that again? You men are clueless. <laughs> men don't understand. They see like a 17, oh, the and then they see a 17 year old, and they're yeah. like, hey, I'm going to ask her yeah. out. You're 50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. This guy, I think, was yeah. older than 50. Adam. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> Adam does skew younger. Oh, I think no, he does. Well, Come on, Adam. Listen, I'm equal 18, 19. Ooh. Creepy, creepy. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. That's, she came on to me. 
She came on to you. Oh, okay. Sure. If they come on to you, you can't. What do you, I'm going to be like, no, get you, away. Right. Yeah, you could say no, get yeah, away. No, get away. Get, yeah. What do you guys think Carrie and us. I said our whole fucking lives is no go away? No, get away. That's what we... Yeah. Guys don't say it's a girl. You want to know something? Did I tell you this, that Kevin, my fiancé, who is a very lovely <laughs> Patty, gentleman... we got to talk about that. I know, we got, I got to get married. I told him. I'm, he's, he's starting to piss me off. Okay. I, he's my fiancé. He's going to justice the peace. And he's a really, like, good guy. But when I said to him, all I spent my whole 20s and 30s, and even my 40s, having guys get the fuck away from there. All, everybody's trying to get in. They still want to get in. No, not about four. There's about four in the past <laughs> 12 years have tried to get That's in. That's pretty good. And That's I not like, a bad number. Yeah. yeah, not bad yeah. for my age. No, but in general. <laughs> I said to Kevin, I go, how many girls do you think you've pushed away? That you see goes, and he doesn't say anything. I go, what do you think? Like, how many you think you said no to? He goes, I've never turned a girl down. <laughs> never turned a girl down. Never. Guys never turn girls down. Almost. What the fuck is that? Almost They're never. horny. <laughs> Almost they never. They are horny. Yeah. Because there's nothing But sadder. they will like, leave there's you the next day. nothing sadder than being <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah. Being I what? mean, that's always... Than having to turn a, a, a lady down. Like, a girl should never get turned down. What if she was 450 pounds? <laughs> Would it's you turn it down then, Adam? Uh, I'm a gentleman. Would, I don't know. Oh, you, oh, I think so. guys, you know, guys will bang big girls. They're like, because some They'll guys like they like big, they uh, like a big look, girl. The glory hole was created by a man. You know what that is? Yes. You stick it in through a piece of wood. You see a hole in the <laughs> yes. wall yeah. and you stick your dick in there. Now, that's crazy because you don't know. It could be a German shepherd on the other side. It could be, <laughs> but a guy will stick it in there and the hopes of somebody... Just roll the dice. Blowing him. Is yes. that sick? That's, These yes. men are sick. <laughs> right. They're uh, sick in the head. A girl, a girl would never do a yeah. glory you're hole. You're not sticking anything oh, in a glory oh, hole. <laughs> yeah, how could you even do that, though, yeah. if you were? Well, yeah. you could push it hard against the wood. Really so there you go. Just like lay down. Throw a like nip a in or just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you could stick your tongue through it like waiting for a. Someone to lick your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you could put the thingamajig there. It's completely disgusting. Um, do you have old men at Megan Hanley uh, hitting on you also? Older guy, yeah. It's it's a very weird. Uh, it's weird. They're, they're so. I've had a guy like at the gym, and this guy like looks like you know he's gonna, about to get injured, you know, at any moment. <laughs> and it come up to him and be he's like, not muscular. He's no, not l- sexy. He, he looks like I don't even know the, how to describe it. Uh, I feel like it looks like an older version of the dad from Family Ties, um, <laughs> but shorter. I don't know if that helps. Does that help? <laughs> Can you do mentally get it? And then it'll be like, hey, so you're on the so you're running on the treadmill, and like I and first of all, I'm still working out, so I'm like, what? And I just look at it and I go, he goes, looks like it looks like you're a runner i go yeah and i just walk well, away i walk it. away like i'm gonna fist fight so i'm like get the are you I know. serious i know they who are, are you now, now the younger men don't have the balls the no older it's men amazing do, they yeah. have nothing to do. they're like yeah they have, this is yeah. a 50 50 shot she, she's yeah. gonna say right. yes or no so why yeah. not they don't care right but you know when you see a guy working out in his 60s or f- late 50s they got that they got that deflated tit with the skin that hangs. <laughs> it's just as disgusting as a woman, but they don't see they that. Don't see no. They don't no. see it. They, they get, get that cut. You ever get naked with a guy who's oh, repulsive and God. he thinks it's good? He yeah. thinks he looks good. Yeah. Which and how was that? Sometimes a little attractive. Sex in the, the City confidence. episode. Oh, with, you, the with guy Samantha. With the ass? Yeah. Oh, that she's was like, oh, so he kisses funny. like a younger man. Oh, oh right. no, no. And he's still old. She's like, old balls or whatever it is. Can we say old balls? On yeah, because they okay? hung down below mm-hmm. his uh, top that he, to go to the bathroom. That was But so they don't funny. see it on themselves, but they will point it out on you. That yeah. is correct. That's one of your jokes, right? You go, yeah, yeah. you missed the spot, right? Yeah, yeah. When he was shaving? Yeah, yeah. Because you don't ever tell guys, oh, you got like a hair coming out of your nose or up in your, you know. But guys, Guys will tell you if you got to hear it, that, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. I can't even remember the punchline. The punchline is, I missed a spot. Oh, you, you have a rabbit's foot growing out of your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I missed the spot. How did I forget that joke? That's like my, yeah, that is exactly my joke. It's like, how dare you? I did date a guy, my plumber, who was always like talking about, and that was the other joke I have. He goes, oh, you don't, why don't you match your bra to your panties? He's just looking at me like, Neh. He goes, why don't you match your bra to your panties? I'm looking at this fat asshole with a big <laughs> fat fucking stomach who can never get hard, and he's got these skinny legs, and he's fucking ugly, and he's like criticizing well, me. Well, maybe if you matched your panties to your bra, he would have gotten hard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that would have happened. What is my joke That threw that? him off. I don't even remember that joke. If I matched my bra. The panties. Well, maybe if you matched your. Uh... Oh, 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 God! But I could understand because because uh, he he matched his 
shirt to his why can't I remember my joke? Oh, I know what it was. What is it? Because of his like boxers or something and he oh, matched yeah. the stain on his stain shirt. Stain on his matched shirt matched the, the stain on his bo- on his skid marks on his boxers. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was my it's not funny when I like <laughs> it's, 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 it's not funny when you can't remember it. If I can remember it, it's fine. I'm so fucking hot. Um, but do you have a boyfriend now or no? No, Megan Hanley. no. Oh, you don't? No. All these pretty I girls. I never do. And you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I do Teresa have a boyfriend. You do? I do. I, did, I didn't put it on Facebook. No, I'm not Good. putting that on don't Facebook. Don't put any Don't do that because don't then if it doesn't work on. out, you got to egg on is your face. Is like that a comedian? No. Been there, done that with a comic. Ugh. So and that hasn't yet. Yeah. No, he's a fireman. I saw a fireman. I stopped by the firehouse because it's on. It's around the corner on the way here. I know. It's like, oh, nice. He was working. Oh, that's awesome. Is he muscular? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> How long are you dating? That means no. How long yeah, are you he dating? Is. No, he's muscular. He's he's. I like his build. He's. Um, What's his build like? He's well. I like like guys with muscle, but also that I could like run into uh, with all my strength. And I'm not I like gonna. That too. Clo- one night I clotheslined him, and he was fine. So I had a <laughs> lot of cocktails that night. Is. It's you like a wrestling move, him. and because I'm not a small girl, so he's got to be able to keep up. So and he's fine. Yeah, he's strong. See, so. I, I agree. I only want a guy who's bigger than me, and he has to weigh more than me. He mm-hmm. has to, you know, all that stuff. I have to have. So are you looking, it. Megan? Are you yes. on? What do you do? You go on the site? No, I do nothing. I do nothing. Uh, she's very do Helen nothing. Hunt. Uh, no, she's oh, yes. way prettier. Yeah, than Way Helen prettier, Hunt. but <laughs> but very <laughs> Helen Hunt. I've she's that all Helen American Hunt. girl. Got, very oh, sweetheart. Wow. Claudia Which Schiffer, kind? Helen Hunt combines. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, oh really? that makes her sexier. Oh, there you now. go. There you go. <laughs> you don't do Tinder swipes. Swipe. I actually ju- to this morning. I this I did this this morning because I was frustrated with something else. So I I joined Bumble, but then they immediately started sending me matches, and I realized I hadn't even set up my profile. So uh, when which, you're getting so how do they know? So I just like logged out, and then I went to my thing, and I was like, oh, I have to actually like set this up. Like they like logged it with my Facebook, and so they put up all my uh, my pictures are just all my random profile pictures, and I'm like, oh. this is not. What? I'm not. No. Okay. But I did. I did join today. I downloaded the app. So that's For a Bumble. Step. That's now, a what's, step. what's the difference between Bumble and Tinder? Bumble, the lady to... makes the first move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. I used to be Bumble's the clown back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Bumble's the clown? Mm-hmm. I didn't know I had that. a clown suit and everything. You had the Bumble's clown suit? Yes, I did. I never heard of fucking Bumble's the I clown. thought I would make extra money being a clown for little kids, and then it turns <laughs> out <laughs> these little mother effers knew every one of my b- things. They'd be like, I have that, that you know, like whatever. Where you pull something out of your ass. Yeah, they knew all the, the magic tricks. Because yeah, yeah. the easy magic tricks, all the parents buy it for their kids, right. so they know it. So I would go to do it, and they'd be like, we know the, the <laughs> thing is on the other side. I'm like, all right, go fuck yourselves. I'm leaving. So, oh, <laughs> so you were Bumbles the Clown. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Carrie Yank, any pictures of that? And now somebody opened up a website of Bumbles <laughs> and is making millions. You see how it works? It I isn't a clown. It's about the buzz, the bumble buzz. Yeah, I think that's mm-hmm. right. It's here in the hive. Uh, is that what it is? I don't yeah, know. What's the, I still get their updates because I, I think I'm still on there. How did you How did you meet this guy? Oh, he came into the bar I work at. But oh, you know what I great. used to do on Tinder and Bumble because I'm still. I mean, I'm not on there, but there's a profile. Mm-hmm. But I would swipe right back, on comics. Get a backup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would swipe right on the comics, the male comics, because I just wanted to be like, hey, I support you. You get out there. But then right. I was like, no, that's not what it looks like. It looks <laughs> like I'm like interested in them. And I'm wait a minute. What do you mean you swipe around them? I don't understand that. Well. Like, if you're interested, you swipe right. If you're okay. not interested, you just swipe left. But I would swipe right on all the comics I knew just to be like, hey, be go nice. get him. Go get him, team. <laughs> it's mom out there. Like, uh, uh, no. And then they were like, would swipe back. And then I'm like, oh, no, but I'm not interested like that. <laughs> like, I was like, no, don't. You got to stop doing that. So I've, I've seen, I had joined last year Coffee Meets Bagel briefly. Oh, what and the it, fuck it, is Coffee Meets it, Bagel? I think it was on Shark site. Tank. I think at this point, no one's on it anymore. I could be wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe just no one was. It's a dating I, site? I wasn't yes. able to really meet. They're saying Anybody it, it, on the, it. I, I just saw the uh, advertisement for it. Maybe now they're like re-upping it or something. Yeah. But last year it was Coffee like. Coffee meets bagel is yeah. like a very casual. Well, then I gotta tell it's supposed to be like, yeah, they connect coffee. you with people, but you only have like a certain amount of time to get in touch with each other. And I, I don't know. I, it didn't really. I, I, I would message people back and forth, but it never led to. It never, led to, it never led to anything. Yeah, it never okay. led to bagels. So never led to any of it. When you, do you find that the men you meet on these websites are weird? Well, I, I really don't have too much experience with it yet, so I can't oh, fully you you've talk never done about it. Tinder I, d- I did this. No, I never did Tinder because I, I just never wanted to deal with like the. I don't know. I just always felt the attention was wrong. Like I was like, I don't just want to hook up with people, so mm. I don't want to. You want deal a boyfriend? With this. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to deal. You don't with want this. a dick pic, and and, and I don't want to like. I, I I just don't like wasting time. Like I'm like, if I meet someone and there's a connection, then great. But if not, I have so much else. 
to well, do. Well, the problem is, like here's a, the problem with being a girl comic. You know, where are you going to meet a guy? You right, meet a comic? Right, that's right. the wrong guy for you. Yeah. You go out. I mean, there's like three comics, girl, boy comics that worked. And then the rest of them, yeah. forget it. It's like Unless you meet a guy comic that's got a successful sitcom. <laughs> yes. Or, but even yeah, that only works. I wouldn't even work in my own my own head because I'd be like, I'm the star. Like yeah, it wouldn't work. True. I would it's not. That, work. Yeah, that's true. Because then you get in competition with each yeah. other. With yeah. my ex husband, he was a comic. We, you know, he would feel it to be in competition with me because I was mm-hmm. a girl, and if I got more than him, and he was a girl, then so he, that's how it out. <laughs> then he felt very. You know, mm-hmm. intimidated or whatever by that. Now, what I kind d- of guy are you looking for? You looking well, for a, a, so let me a, say, okay, a let me good looking, this. gorgeous, muscular. Well, oh, she's beautiful. If anybody's I, out there and that you think you could marry well, so this her. Is so I so I was recently like, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we want someone to marry you. Megan. I was recently right, so I was I was overseas. Want someone to uh, marry you too, Patty? <laughs> That's fucking true. <laughs> <shit. laughs> I don't. Will someone marry me, please? This okay, is, yeah, this is how sad it is. I feel like my dating situations are. I was reason I was I was overseas. I was doing form for the troops, and people were like kept being like, "Oh, did you meet somebody over there?" And I was like, "Oh, actually, I did." And they're like, "That's great." And I go, "No, it's not. He lives in Germany, and there's a six-hour time difference, and he doesn't live here." Can I just say and I like, saw a picture of you with a really cute guy? Oh, no, is that the guy? No, but he did give me all his information. Um, he, well, actually, well, he was a, he was a military boy. Yeah, he, yeah, but he's like 28, and we actually his 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 first name is my last name it was very cute um really he's back in the states supposedly in april but um Get it. no there was somebody else that i like had met and then like we start we've been messaging each other and then it's like escalated and there's been like sexting and photos sexting? And back and forth. Oh, it's been very sexting. much and it's, but it's gone to the point now where it's like well now what? we've done this, everything on camera where is this going and it's he kind of so lives now in germany he lives in yeah germany? so now it's kind is of is he a like, german or is no, he he's american, american. So now it's kind of like just sort of cooled off because I was kind of like, where is this? In oh, my yeah. head, I was like, am I pushing this? And this is where is this even going? And since I've cooled off, he's like really not. What's he doing there? You know where I will not discuss. What, you know where he's. Okay. You know where it's going. It's going nowhere. Once you make it famous, all those pictures will be on. <laughs> My face is not any of them, but I look really good. Okay, all the I was like, is there a face in there? Because I got some good ones. And my I'm like, and my face in. looks phenomenal. So I'm like, if I leak them, they'd be leaked by myself. And I'm just supporting I'm like, the truth. I'm, I'm like, proud of my photos. It took oh. like 30 you know, oh, try to get that good angle. This but. is like wow. what I thought of. Like someone's, someone said, they're like, what if these photos get leaked? I go, I don't care about the photos I send. I care about all the backup ones I didn't send that are like <laughs> oh, terrible yeah. angles. And you're like, I like you're just hanging out. The gut's hanging out. I'm like, the ones I send look like they should be in a magazine. They exactly. look like You girls both have sent them. I've never done it. Not never. naked. No, not naked. Not well, totally naked. Not uh, totally naked. The only but way I would close. send, I would probably send like just a picture of my asshole to a guy. <laughs> But no face, no face would be. That's so great. It's hard to get that angle though. You need some assistance. I it can do it. I can do it. But and that would be like a rude comment. Right, right, right. But can you? I can never show my face in a naked picture. I was asked to do Playboy. Ooh. I was asked. Well, I, I was semi asked. That one be, uh, sorry, semi. How are you back semi? in the day, me back and Carol day. Montgomery. Yes, and you were, yes, yes. I was yes, also yes, asked, asked. Believe it or not. And I remember saying they were like, "I'm like, how much does it pay?" Not that I would have done it, but. If they, were, I'm thinking millions. It was like five hundred dollars or something. No, shitty. it was five grand. Oh, it was five thousand. And I was okay. like, get the, f- I'm gonna humiliate my family, because <laughs> right. my father would have been devastated yeah. if I'd done it. Yeah. yeah, you know, all the Greek people would have seen it. So I said no, but. Had it been like a couple of million, I would have been like, all right. <laughs> yeah. See, I was coming from like, That's your well, I'm a feminist and I want to be taken seriously as a comic. And if people see my, and I have like no tits. So, I mean, these people ask me without ever seeing my real tits. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wear a pair to browse all the time. If they were like, okay, let's get ready for your shot. And I take off my shirt and be like, ooh. But who did it? Was it Susie S? Somebody did I'll it. I'll tell you who did it. The girl who's married to... Who's the girl who's married to the manager? Her name is Felicia, Felicia Michaels. Michaels. Yep. Felicia Michaels she did, did it. it. And oh. she put her picture up recently. Her photos on, look good. And they I've looked very them. good. They were beautiful pictures of her. She had very thin and long and lanky. Okay, the other girl was Rhonda Shear. Oh. You know Rhonda? Yes. Who does up all night. Up all night. And now she sells underpants on uh, QVC. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. She's got a career. Okay. She does have a career. Yeah. She makes <laughs> that, that company is worth millions. She is worth a fucking a millions. But uh, and then the other person who did it was there was somebody else who did it. I remember Rhonda Shear telling me, "I go, oh, you did the naked picture." She goes, "Yeah." She goes, "But I noticed that I lifted my arm for all the pictures because when you lift your arm in a picture, your tit goes up. It, it lifts your tit. Oh, like if yeah. you just go like this, the boobs 
But if you kind of are doing, you know, the arms up, then your tits go up. And that's a better shot. Well, you got to do this thing, too. Oh, yeah, just like squeeze. The squeeze in. Oh, then you gotta, I've taken it, you know. <laughs> 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 I think if you sent an anal picture, Carrie, wouldn't someone, a guy, be, like, offended? Would that be, like, an offensive thing to no, send? A, a guy would probably enjoy it. Adam, would you like an I anal mean, picture? I mean, we talked about, <laughs> we talked about like it. the glory hole. Now I'm just saying. They'll like it. They like anything. Stop it, Adam. Don't lie. <laughs> Adam, you're not into the ass? I'm just curious. Okay. Uh, into a picture of the ass? Oh, no, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay, he says no. All right, he's not on mic, but he's saying no. I don't believe him, by the way. Um, so wait a minute. So now, Megan, oh. you did, You where did you go? Did you, you entertained the troops, yes. which was very yes. admirable, which, uh, I, but you, did you go to Afghanistan? No, or? no. Okay. Well, but to Germany. No, we were in oh. Kos Kosovo, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, and England. Oh, nice party. So it was really like, I mean, you were on the tour. sand and with It the... was. Yeah, people were like, oh, it's so great you did that. I'm like, we, we there was a lot of beer and wine. It did, was, did, you, <laughs> it was, did you get a nice hotel? Did they put you in a nice place? Well, you we, we sleep we, on a well, cot. Uh, no, we always had great places to stay, but for the most part, it was on base, but they have hotels on base. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah for I, like said I would like to, stay to stay where yeah. the boys are staying. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't stay in any barracks. There are no barracks. Uh, people have had different experiences. But the one we went on, we had stayed in a few nice hotels, and then for the most part, it was hotels on base that were also, they were great. They were, really? They were good, yeah. And that's where you met the cute boy. Yeah, sounds Listen, like I, guys, I can't, can't talk in you detail. You can't talk about I will him. say if anyone's watching me, I think nothing happened. It, there's no, there was nothing, there was okay, no. What I do want to say, just, he probably has a wife and kids over there. Oh do you think um, so? Probably. Oh, my God. But, um, I, you know, I never, <laughs> I, I never, never trust that. with men. See, see, young girls never think no, of I that. No, I do think of that, though, but I didn't think of that with that. But if but you, it, yeah. if they don't come, like, if you're calling them and you, you, like, if there's not phone numbers that you can reach them at different home and this and that, then there's something not right. Not, I'm not saying that he's not right. Well, I don't right. think this is, this is probably, okay, this is you know, okay. not really going anywhere. <laughs> right. It's not going anywhere now. But, but it was fun. It was just nice to connect. That's the thing. It was just like, it's been so long since I, like, found someone I could, like, connect with. You know, you're just, like, talking. Like, I mean, like, like I said, like, it wasn't, people were like, oh, would you guys, like, hook up over there? We're like, no, we didn't even, nothing. Like, we just, you just met someone. It was, like, nice messages back and forth. They were, like, very just friendly. And then it, like, escalated a little bit. And now I'm like, well, this okay, let might me be ask done, you but it was something. just nice. That's what it's Let me ask to. the hard question. <laughs> Could you possibly have intimacy issues and you pick a guy who's oh, from another oh, country? Oh, 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 this is a constant. Okay. Who's not available. Oh, not oh, available. oh, oh, absolutely. My, this is what I've also been playing with in my okay. head is that I tend to go for guys who are emotionally unavailable, who have definite issues, who have commitment issues. Like, this is something I've been noticing about myself. Like, yes. I go out with these, like, guys that are crazy, and I think, like, I can fix you. Like, I can make mm -hmm. you better. And I end up wasting all my time on them, and I'm, like, yes. done with that. And now I go, oh, I met this great guy. I go, oh, but you've now found someone who's physically unavailable. Like, this is a theme. Yeah. This is something I'm, oh, I'm very aware of. There's something to that, though, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's but obviously about my own insecurities, uh... It's something I'm you had a nice on. father. I don't want to get into a lot of things. Is your father? <laughs> my father's already? awesome. My father's awesome. awesome. But yeah, yeah we talked about your father last time. Oh, he's a you sports guy. You're the girl awesome, that he wanted you know, the boys. A, he wanted the boys. He's and he a, got two girls. You know, he's, a, he's a Vietnam veteran. It's one of those, you know, where he's he's a tough guy to to read. It's definitely probably stems from that. You yeah, know? yeah. Tough guy to read. Not good at showing like affection, but is also like loves us so much and is so proud of us. But you know, has to communicate. A but lot he also wanted the boys, and he got the girls. Correct? Well, Is we used to always think yeah. that. He's always shut us down and said, I never want to bring it back. But we always. You know. He would take you to the games and all that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And you're also you're dating in New York. Yeah, and it's, it's New a York. Other, it's like, yeah. I felt like when I was over there, and granted, we were just like traveling, having a great time. I felt like so open to meeting people because I felt so good. And the second I got back here, I already felt bogged down with life. Like, you feel like you're, you're operating like with blinders on. Like, I got to do this. I got to do that. got to do that. This like, career, I, it's hard to it's... just even see people that might be open to you. Like, it, it's tough to see it because you just get so... You get so in your own head, and so there is Here's so much to Here's what I think, manage. though. The male in Manhattan is un emotionally uh, he's un unavailable emotionally he always thinks that supermodels coming around the turn yeah. he thinks you know he he's definitely not the guy he's he's art, artsy fartsy whatever he he's not the settling down type yeah i agree yeah. me 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 yeah. very I can confirm more narcissistic that. Yeah. no offense adam no, no, no I, I'm, 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 I'm confirming what? that peter pan syndrome 
I took mm. that from Patty from uh, Millionaire Matchmaker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Patty Stangler. I, um, Patty from <laughs> I love that I show. Love I do too. Um, I see characters from that show. I say characters all over the city. And I'm like, oh, it's that woman whose face wouldn't move. And then I see her and I'm like, <laughs> there was one, she was like the life coach, the yoga teacher, the actor, that she did like five things. But like the Peter Pan syndrome where like the guys don't ever want to grow up. Ooh. Right. Yeah. And they yeah. want that. It's they true. think they that supermodel is going to ring the doorbell mm-hmm. yes. at any moment and he's fat and disgusting slob. And you're like, no. She's, there's no supermodel coming. I know. I'm hitting the best on women at the gym. Yes. Well, that ties back to like the chiropractor, who's yeah. like, I think I can hit on her. I got this. You're like, no, no, you don't. You're in like double A ball, and you think you're moving up to whatever. But, you but know, here's like, why they think they've got it, because somewhere in the last few years or ten years, somebody said yes. Yeah, Some a Russian few, right. bride <laughs> that is <laughs> groveling and eating dirt in her country, and it's like, I'll take the sagging ball. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that our president? Yeah, no, I was going to say, that is just like Melania. <laughs> hey, did you see the thing about Melania where uh, Obama's sitting next to her mm-hmm. and he's talking to her and he's like, sm- you could see he's like smiling and like, and she's like smiling and like, la- you know, and you just look at that picture and you go, there's hope for this woman if she would just leave Donald Trump. She's always looked she's miserable. She's going she's to gonna... leave him, but not now. He's paying yeah, her probably can't. to stay, she don't you think? Right right she's yeah. first lady. Also, it's like that, yeah, right. She, I mean, for her to be in that moment, like the picture they were showing uh, after where she's, like, she never, she's in that photo with these people that were the leaders of her name. She never, she's like, I can't believe. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Think she, I, don't, this is I don't think she wanted, I, I think maybe she's, you know, at this point now she's, getting comfortable in it and i think she might start doing stuff that but no one's giving her any anything yeah. oh no mm-hmm. she's she's wrong well i like her out no one's she giving does. her anything in france she went out and and had the big the white outfit with the mrs france whatever the fuck her name is <laughs> with, the white hat. Macon, with that big giant white hat she was like look but at she's me boys beautiful. She, she's is beautiful. Beautiful. she is beautiful she's beautiful and she has a real and now they said style. the white hat mm-hmm. was a what was the white hat this, Sexy. No, no. They were saying that there's a double meaning to the white hat. What? That she's racist. She's what? she's not no, from this that's country. Not it. That's not it. She does speak four languages. I just want to point out, which mm. I thought I thought was impressive. Yeah, that, that is impressive. Like, Although, uh, I have you ever say, heard her speak them? But that's hold the thing. on a second. Okay, go ahead. She's not stupid. No, she's not stupid. But she, she married. <laughs> The richest guy in the world. <laughs> He's not that I'm rich. I'm just saying. He's not that rich. But he she landed. What to did you rich. land? <laughs> <laughs> but I was never. My thing was never money. I never wanted money. I wanted love. Okay, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't Melania. No, you were Melania. Mm-hmm. You are Melania. Ma- you Melania, could d- Melania, money. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You slap a little tight outfit on it and sashay your ass out to one of these bars around here. Now? Down. What, yeah, you want you everybody could- to throw up? <laughs> Go down, go down. It's a Regency. Or where are the, yeah, the, those bars that like the, the that's right um, on, on Bravo? Uh, yeah. like Bravo. <laughs> like, they were spotted at the Regency or the St. Regis. That's where you go. Now, bars. now it's too late. Now I've, I'm bitter. No. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can't even be around people. You know, they, I can't they be want around a girl men. like you for the wife, but then they will cheat on you. Just, as long as you're fine oh. with that. They'll have the younger girl to cheat with, but they bring you to the parties and you cook and, and you clean. and you're funny and you'll you'll entertain people. But you know, then there's gonna have the side ass that's 20 years old. That's the only thing you'd have to agree. I'm not to. interested. I, I, I <laughs> hope he gets the side ass. <laughs> Because if he gets the side ass, he don't need my ass. <laughs> don't, you thi- don't you think that Donald Trump saw that picture? And it's all trending all over Facebook mm-hmm. with that picture. Don't you think he's thinking? I, don't you think that made him jealous? Or do you think he just doesn't give a oh, fuck about her? Oh, I don't think he gives a fuck. You think he just doesn't he give just, a fuck? He, do you think he even gets news, a hard on? He, uh, Can he get a hard on? <laughs> I don't know. He's pushing that flabby oh my God. thing on her. And she's like, oh, God. You ever <laughs> see that picture of him in the white? tennis outfit where he's bending over to make a shot in that yes, ass that, uh, it's just like i think of her being all sexy and beautiful <laughs> but i don't think they fuck each other at this point no. i don't oh, think it's possible when they point. did that fake uh statue of him naked <laughs> that was so that accurate was so funny. Wait, that i don't know horrible. if i remember that oh, but oh when my god the guy that. made this guy oh wait i okay i think i saw he of, made this like, giant no. statue of donald trump naked, naked with this little thing hanging in the ah uh, and the big fat and stomach. they put it in the city and he and it was actually hysterical <laughs> i fucking loved that i loved it um speaking of uh i want you know what i want to talk about oh. uh wow. No, this isn't anything. It, we don't know. It's not, yeah, it's not we even, don't know. No, we don't this know. isn't about men or boys or anything. This is about, I wanted to talk to, about um, 
Why can't I think of words? Because I'm senile. Uh, yeah, you know. But before you say oh, yeah, that, yeah, go ahead. Before that, she any knows what I'm guy talk about. Go ahead. in that age group, yes, in the president's age group, yes, grosses me out. It's not just him. You couldn't bang a 70 year old guy. No. no, I could. Like who? De Niro. Who? Which one? <laughs> De Niro get me, is. Give me a good looking one. Let De me any, say any actor. De Niro ten years ago, I could bang. De Niro now looks like my yeah. grandfather. No, I can't. But De Niro was sexy no. and hot for years and years. I can't years even. Years. Clooney grosses me out. Clooney, no. No yeah. more Clooney. Oh, really? Done. I think Clooney's still, still yeah. doable. Mm, yeah. I don't no. know. Very attractive. No, no. I don't like. You know, it's a wig in the whole thing. <laughs> oh, is it a wig? Does he have like hair bangs? bangs on his face? I don't know. Uh, Who has bangs at ben that Affleck age? Ben Affleck got those. Oh, I could fuck him even when he was young. I, uh, that was my thing. I like Ben Affleck. But he has that yeah. awful oh, tattoo I now. I never liked Ben Affleck. What do you like about Ben Affleck? He cheats on his wife. This was before all that. I liked him before, like Armageddon, Ben Affleck, oh, like Save the World, no. but no, um, no, no. He just seems douchey to me in some yes. way. Yes, phony, like, a little phony. Phony, and like he goes with the young babysitter who's like 19, and then he goes back with the wife, but then he's still fucking the babysitter. He's like yeah, an that's asshole. Stupid. Oh, Joe Manganiello, that's a side note. He's married to Sofia Vergara. That guy's he, pretty good looking. He is good looking. Oh, yeah. yeah he is How very old is good he? looking. He is 40. 40. Okay, 40 is still One, good. Two? I'm talking about 60 and up. Oh, I know. But you know what's so funny about you saying this? This is how guys talk about women. They don't want to fuck women 40 and up. But I agree. <laughs> Jane Fonda, though, she can get it. Jane Fonda looks good. Jane Fonda's boyfriend slash whatever he is is like 20 years younger than her. Get it, Jane. Yeah. Look at her. Same thing with uh, who's Susan the, Sarandon. Susan Sarandon and the singer. Wait, she's with Tim. Who's What's that his singer? Name? No, no, she's not with Tim Roth. No, no, no. no, no, no. What is Harry? going on? Uh, here's why I, I, could, I, I don't really like Susan Sarandon, oh, so, so I don't really shit about. follow what she does, and I could kill us. Tim Robbins, right? She yeah. was with him, and they divorced, and then she just dated all younger men. I don't think they were ever married. No, I don't think they yeah, were no, either. I think they were doing this for years. They had yeah. a kid together. Yeah. Kid, they? Yes. They, they might have yeah. had two kids, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I was in a movie with him, I just want to oh, say, and God. I rubbed up against him. Yes. And That's why he left Susan. <laughs> yes, I think he wanted me. <laughs> he wanted me. Uh, Jacob's Ladder. I just want to drop it because I have three seconds in a real movie. Um, what was I going to say, though? Jacob's uh, uh, Who's the other one? Uh, who's the one who's like, what's love got to do with it? She has also Tina has, Turner. Tina Turner, Ooh. her husband's 25 years younger than Good, her. Because Ike Turner was awful. I, so I know. Tina, Tina had a new guy. I oh, love it. She lives in, First I think, of all, I here's what I don't understand. Else. Ike Turner was a tiny little guy, and he beat Tina up. I would have beat the shit out of that little motherfucker. You know what happens? See, that's because that's... What happens is... <laughs> He's in charge. He's like Turner. He was, before, he was like a Sammy Davis Jr. But before she was Slap ever. Slap him across the room. Before she was ever Tina Turner, he was the big guy. So I she guess. looked up to him, and mm -hmm. she was younger than him. And she came in, and these guys, they groom these girls to obey and do what they say. And then you go in thinking he loves you, but then they're like, they're almost like, um, what are these guys who have, uh, they're like, they have prostitutes. What do you call them? Pimps. pimps. They're like mm -hmm. pimps. Right. They love you, love you, until they slap you. And well, then you they he, he, he got yes. jealous of her because she made it. She was super soft. And the best revenge was when she goes, I don't want anything but right. my name. My name. Yeah. That right. movie is so that intense. So That's, it's, it plays on VH1 sometimes, and so I, can't, I can't get into love it. it. It's just like the Jacksons. <laughs> and that I get I don't when I mean, he has to go yes. get the switch I don't like it it bothers me oh but that is a ho I can't I can't I watch the, the Jackson the, the Jacksons with the father's <sighs> beating the kid yes and then they're all messed up I mean they're I love all them, messed but they're, up they're, yeah. yeah I don't know if this father. is true but somebody now, what was the mother doing because exactly oh uh, right. you could beat the shit out of me I get it right but you touch my kid and I will stay I will I, you have to go to sleep at some point. <laughs> and then <laughs> the frying pan comes the out. the frying pan comes out I'll bash your skull in. Don't don't touch my kid. I don't. I feel like women who let their kids be abused are shitty. But or I also, they're like on board. They're like this is discipline. Or they're, it's a team effort. Or they are scared of their yeah. husband. Yeah. Or they're scared of their husband. The they go. It's also, discipline. This is what I experienced. This yeah, is, yeah. Yeah. To speak up because they think they're going to be killed. So then the kids are pushed forward. It's like all sad. Uh, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. very terrible. It's terrible. Um, we oh, took a turn. All right. So now we let's talk turn. to you.
How long are you dating with the, 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 uh, the five fireman? Months, five, six months. So at least yes. you know if there's a fire, he's got it. He's got it. It was funny because I kind of forget he's a fireman. So we went out to dinner last week. and it Does was he a, pay? Does he pay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very and, good. Yes, which was nice because I always think, I'm a little old school that way, I think the guy should pay. The guy should pay. And a lot of guys, like it's hard to date comics because they don't feel they that don't way. They don't pay. And they I'm go like, half -see, half -see. I'll, I'll show up in my sweatpants then. You want to go 50-50? I'll wear my pajamas. <laughs> I won't put any makeup on. I won't look good if that's what you want to do. So... Um, um, but no, he That's pays, great. but we were out to dinner. There was like one bathroom for everybody. And he came out he's like, that candle's making me nervous in there. And I was like, <laughs> why? And then I was like, oh, he's a fireman. Oh, he that's so like, funny. I was like, oh, I forget. He's like, and then like when he came out of my apartment for the first time, he like walked around. Like, I was like, oh, the fire escape's out here. Like, I, was like, oh, <laughs> nice. I like that. That's awesome. And how long are you together? Oh, five to six months, five or six months. So I had the conversation. So it's new. Yeah, it's new. Mm -hmm. But he, is he more in love with you than you with him? I don't know. <laughs> Has he told you? We shouldn't. We ask. haven't. We haven't, haven't said, said that, that yet. So, so what it's, is it with people that they don't say "I love you" anymore? Like, I, I don't say think, right the first date. I say it right <laughs> in the no, beginning. It, but I'm that type of person too, where I'm just I would just let it slip out, just like right. "I love you, bye." Like, but I'm yeah. like, I, you're I waiting know. for him to say it. Mm -hmm. Well, with my fian fiance of 15 years, he still years, hasn't said it. No. <laughs> <laughs> The first weekend I brought him with me on a gig, we, we just banged, and I go, I love you. And then, I, But I was facing the other way. <laughs> oh my God. We weren't banging from behind, but I, for some reason I rolled <laughs> over. I wasn't ass-fucking, believe me. And I There's was definitely people the that are way. watching this on my face like that are like friends with my parents who are horrified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so they're like, be. what the hell? Anyway, I said, I love you. I love it. And there was this dead silence for, it felt like forever, but it was probably three seconds. He goes, I love you too. You know, he's got the Brooklyn. Oh, I love uh, that accent. Bronx My accent. From love you too. Yeah. That was the first time you said it. Yes, love you too. <laughs> so, uh, but he's not an I love you guy, and I'm fine with that. He's I wasn't not an I, I, I do guy either. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's not. But he's wait, not. I gotta ask you something. So he's going, yeah, let's do it, and he should take out money from his 401k to pay for the wedding. But should I not do a whole wedding and just get a loan? Here's what I would do. Here's okay, what I would it's do. It's very hot in here, and I'm sweating. Go. To the justice of the peace. Without you, but I would like you there. I'll be the witness. But then, if you come, then all. Then, Hold, no, no, no. Just then my sisters get, will be like, get it on paper. Yes. Then we can plan the wedding. Okay, I like that <laughs> idea. All right. Okay. I'm serious. And come so up with done. the money. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. It's legal. Right. Legally. That's a good idea. Married. Now is your husband. Yeah. Okay, I like it. And then it. we'll mm -hmm. figure out the wedding. Okay, yeah, I should do there be like a party? Should, yeah. And then yeah, do a party like later. That. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> I'm sure Kevin stopped listening. Kevin. Ten minutes. Kevin. Don't let me come Kevin. up to wherever the hell you two live. Up in the fucking boonies. And beat the shit out of you. Okay. You're so right? anyway, so no, how old is your oh. how old is your boyfriend? Forty four. Okay. No, he's a little old. Does he, yeah. Was he ever sure. married? No. He has no kids. No. And he Why wasn't them. he ever married? What's going on there? Um, I know, I've asked the questions. Um <laughs> no, he's never he's never been married. So he's never been engaged. So but he's had some long term relationships. One long term relationship. So well, how long ones. are you going to give this? Because you're 36, and do you mm -hmm. want to have children? I don't think I do. Oh, then Interesting. Who, so who kinda, gives a shit, right? I, I just, yeah, should. I just, I don't know. But I just, at this point, I, I don't necessarily see myself, like, having kids. Why? I don't know. I, you're I don't, 36? Because you couldn't do comedy? next month. You're 35. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. What about comedy? Well, hold on. Okay, Why? So. Why don't you see yourself? With the kids? I don't know. I just think it's taken so long to... Well, honestly, I've never met someone that's worthy of me having their kids. I know that sounds kind of like... But I don't want to be stuck with someone that I don't... I can't, oh. I'm not going to do it on my own. So I need someone that's going to be... Who's in it. Yeah. So. And do you see this guy possibly having that... Well, he hasn't... Having... It's, we've talked about it. So, uh, but I don't, oh, and so, he doesn't want it. I think at this point he's 44. I mean, I don't see how it's really uh, going to necessarily Okay, I had my yeah. first at 40 a and my guys, second at 41. If they want kids, we'll if have you it want 40s. a child, you'll mm -hmm. have it. But mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, made my, I gave my husband an ultimatum. We were dating two months. I said, I want to have kids. He said, one day I do too. I said, no, one day. <laughs> I'm 39. I'm going to be 40. Uh, it's either now or never. He goes, well, I go, I need an answer. And he goes, can I eat the salad <laughs> <laughs> after the salad? And I go, listen, you could eat the whole meal, but by the end of the meal, it's a yet you're either in or out. And if you're out, you're out. See ya. You'll never see me again. <laughs> Wow. I do think women need to, well, I'm saying this, and I didn't give my man an ultimatum, 
But I do think that when you're dating and you don't know what's going on, like, are you, I, I like, people date and they don't know if I'm the no, girlfriend you gotta, or boyfriend. You're in charge. Like, no, I know. I had that conversation. You're in charge of three your months. life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you said, I'm your girlfriend. Because, well, like, yeah. they don't even say, you're my girlfriend. Like, it's so, like, They're I feel dealing like. dealing with idiots. Millennials yeah. Yeah. Are, are a lot of times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not willing to say, you're my girlfriend, I love you. Like, that's so minimal to me that I Look, think you have to Look, this take... guy, Go my ahead. husband. Yes. First of all, why was the best thing that ever happened to him? But uh, <laughs> he was I like, do. I think your husband is like, so good for you. He was like, I guess I'm in. And I go, right. Tomorrow we go to the doctor, get all the blood work done. I got to make sure you don't have any kind of diseases. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and God. two weeks later, I got an ovulation kit. We started trying. Now, I didn't wow. know his parents. I don't Because I was 39, and I was like, if I can't get pregnant, I'm not marrying this guy. I'm not going to be with this guy. I'm going to okay. be living in Manhattan for the rest of my life, doing stand-up at the Comedy Cellar, and that's it. Because you wanted a baby more than you wanted your husband. Uh, oh. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> so it was either that or a sperm bank. I was having a kid either way. So we ended up trying, 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 and by the fourth month, I got pregnant. Wow! wow. And, and, and you know, Claudia Sherman had her kid at forty-five. Yeah. She goes to me. I couldn't get pregnant. I couldn't get pregnant. I went out and I bought a uh, Clomad. No, not Clomad. Not Clomad. Uh, Clomad is a drug that the doctor gives you. Uh, Chase Berry. It's a natural herb. Get out. That you take from over the counter. Oh, wow. And it, prom- it, it, it it livens up your estrogen and Chased whatever. Berry. It, it's Chased not- So for two months, she took it. She got pregnant. And as and I did it as well. Two months, I got pregnant on the second month. Because the first two months I tried, it wasn't happening. And then on the last month, it happened. Well, Berry, I, I got pregnant the second month I tried with a gay man. Oh, and cool. I used yeah. nothing. But that... <laughs> That you were 20. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. I had my first baby at 33 uh, or something like that. Yeah, that's so young. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty young. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, was, I was, you know, they, then they go to me, you have to get that needle put in your stomach. Uh. So I was like, okay, I did it, the first kid. And I watched this on the screen. I watched this, this needle's this yeah. big. It goes they, into your like they stomach. They do the tests and stuff. Yeah, it goes uh. into your stomach, and you're watching the baby, and you're watching the baby's here, and the needle's coming here, and, 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 and then all of a sudden it takes that, and then it... So the second kid, they oh go, you got to do it again. I go, I am not doing that ever again. Yeah. Carrie, I did the same thing. First kid, I did it because they fucking made me, my my crazy Indian gynecologist that I couldn't stand. And then the second one, why I said. Why did they have to be Indian? I don't know why she was Indian. <laughs> she, no, I mean, why did Because she why, was Indian. Why, my crazy Indian? She was crazy because okay. we got in a big fight. She was crazy. She so, yelled And then at what me. happened? So she made you do it? She made me do it. And then I went to a different doctor the second time, and uh, they said, I went to, what do you call those women that, like, uh, doula, whatever doula. those oh, right, right. Whatever mm-hmm. those ladies are. I want to do now. So anyway, they said, but, you know. Midwife. Yeah, something like, yeah. I went to midwives. And they said, well, listen, you know, uh, you're at that age. I, at that time, I was 37 or whatever I was. And, they, you know, you could have a retarded kid. I go, I'll roll the dice. Yeah, I'm not yeah. put because you know how many kids die from putting that fucking yes. needle in? Why would I put a needle in to let a kid die? Also, if you're like, I'm having this kid, we'll see what happens. Yeah, if it's like, retarded, I'm, I'm, I'm all in. Do I don't give a shit. And no, those tests you know are also off. Also, yeah. you, <laughs> like, your not... blood work now is so accurate. Right. It's like, if they would have said they're like 98% accurate. Not, now even Down syndrome is 99% accurate, I oh, think. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know that. So okay. if they would have came back and said, look, we found this, this, and this wrong on your blood work. Maybe we should. Then I would have said, maybe I would have thought about it. But even still, you're five months pregnant. Who's, yeah. who's aborting that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's how I felt. I felt like I'm, I'm going to just take a chance. You want yeah. kids, Megan Hanley? Um, I just don't know if it's something that's going to happen for me. No, I'm you see, but do you want attitude. them? But do you no, but want I, them? I'm fine either way. That's, that's how, how I feel. Yeah. Oh, like, you're fine. I'm fine yeah, either I, way. Yeah. I mean, I like, went to the gynecologist this morning, and I was like, oh, God, this is uncomfortable enough. <laughs> I can't imagine. Like, I was like, don't look yeah. me in the eye when you're done. He's a man. You and go to a boy gynecologist? I could never go to a guy gynecologist. My female went AWOL like five years ago, <laughs> and it would have been months for like an, another appointment. So I was like, I'll take the man next week. And him and I have been together ever since. He's great. <laughs> a lot of stuff yeah, together. I don't care. care. Isn't it awkward? Like, what if you're attracted to him? That's like weird. Well, you know what? What's funny is then today, like, I hadn't seen him in a year, and he has a slight resemblance to the new boyfriend. Ah. And I was like, oh, like, oh, this is a little weird. But, that um, is weird. What about when they feel your boobs? It feels like a guy's feeling your tits up, right? No, it's no? more. No, but I never know where to look. It's like, do you look up? You can't close your eyes because it seems like you're enjoying it. So then <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And if you look in their eyes, that's even weirder. I had a boy gynecologist for years, and he was gay, so... Oh, how fun. do you know he was gay? Because he was 
told everybody. Oh, he did? He had a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, and then he was an actor. And oh, I could do a gay one. He always had, pl- <laughs> you know, uh, plays that he was doing, and he was great. <laughs> <laughs> and then his Your associate. Kind of did plays? Yeah, his partner uh, ended up, he ended up retiring. Oh. How many vaginas can you look at before you throw in the towel? You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> so then he retired, and now he's living it up with his about half, whatever, and he's acting or whatever, and she took over the practice, so I stayed with her. Re- oh, See, I, nice. I feel bad for people who are gynecologists because I think it's a weird thing to look at all day. Like, when you go to bed at night, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, when I, you can't sleep at night, like me, I, I just have, like, pictures in my head and things that I can't forget, and I'm trying to fall asleep. If I were a gynecologist, I would just be looking at, like, nasty vaginas in my head at night when I'm yes. trying to fall asleep. Yeah. Like when you play Candy Crush, you see those, those <laughs> the jellies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like seeing that. Candy, yes. Ugh. I would be <laughs> fucking horrified by horrifying. it. Horrifying. Um, you girls are always in shows where there are other girls on the show. Like, when Carrie and I started, there were never two girls on a show. No, God forbid. Now it's, it's now crazy. that you do, now it's girls, two girls on a show, three girls on a show. It depends. It depends on the show. Sometimes there's nobody. The, the tour yeah. we did, the military tour we did, was, was all women. It was five well, that's women. because the guys fucking want girls. And actually, here's what's crazy. Only three shows were, like, mostly dudes. After that, 80% of our audience was women. It was all the wives, all the civilians oh, on base. Really? And it was like, some places marketed as a ladies' night. And we were shocked. We didn't expect that I would at do all. It, it, was, it was I, awesome. I, I would do a USO tour. I would do that I, if I didn't I, have I to go there. I was offered to do um, Afghanistan. I said no. And I was offered to do Japan. And I said no. Why was, no to Japan? Because at the time, something was happening with Japan. And my mother was like, get it, go in. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing ended up happening. And I would have went and I would have seen Japan. And <laughs> So and what, actually, all that the been sushi. Fun. I know my mom was like, because I said, I go, I would love to do another one again. I was like, I was like, I would love to do like Afghanistan, whatever, Middle oh, East, no. like for Christmas. That was and my mom right. goes, no. I go, no. Yeah. I go, what? What is my life about? I don't care if something happens to They'll me over there. Cut your I'm, head off. They'll no, I'm not. I'm, you. I'm, I'm not out You're not there. leaving off the base. I'm not leaving the base. I'm with the military. And if something happens to me, so I would. I die performing for the troops. I don't give a shit. Like I gotta give back in some way. What meaningless life am I leading here? Uh, I love selfish my, one. I love my selfish, meaningless life. I don't want to die that way. Do we have kids. Like, Jim Norton did it, and he said I, uh... that he was on the plane, and all of a sudden the plane dove <laughs> down, and he was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. He, he thought that they were going down; they were crashing. Right. Yeah. He goes, and then he leveled off, and he goes, "I have to do that because if they're aiming a missile at us, we oh have to." Oh my god! You know, we have yeah. to just divert. Like, bleh, bleh, bleh. yeah. I go. He goes. What do you mean aiming a missile? At <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Nobody said anything about aiming a missile yeah. at us at. You know, my agent's office. Right, right. Shit can go down. Totally. I mean, totally. So, but you're yeah. okay with that. I Yeah. See, that's like Carol Montgomery. She's like, I don't care. I go, well, what if they but kill you? She can, I could think about I it, and I could it. care about it, but it's like, I, I don't know. I feel like if there's something I can give of myself to help people that are oh, fighting for our country, nice. I don't, oh. I, I'm fine with it. Going over there was the, one of the best experiences I've ever had. Really? Well, because here's where it starts out. You go there and everyone's grateful you're there. That's where it starts. They're grateful you're there and you're grateful to be there. Right. Everything starts with, I respect you. You respect me. I'm so thankful. You're so thankful. Let's, let's, let's laugh together. Like if the world operated that way, it would be better. Then you come back here and you got people bitching about Groupons and their drink orders. And it was like, I see. you know, it's just like you just, you, I, I would log yeah, on to Facebook put things and see people. Yes. You go You'd be over there. Everyone was like so open-minded and like it was amazing. Then you log onto Facebook and you just see just this shit storm of bullshit. And you're like, get out of your head and I go Facebook live a was the worst thing like, that could have happened. I get yeah. over really Facebook. Yeah. I don't go yeah. on that much anymore. Get I just, yeah. that's we're live. That's we're live. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. Aside from this. But like, you know, I don't like showing wh- what I like and do and whatever <laughs> on Facebook. But go ahead. Oh, no. Well, then people just, you get down when you look at it sometimes. Like, you'll yeah. be doing fine. Like, I like to look at it to see certain people because I'm like, whatever they write. I'm like, oh, that's really funny. I like yeah. that. But then even comics are like, if you don't book this person, you're an idiot. Well, that yeah. was a very passive aggressive message. Like, right, they're just right, kind of like, right. oh, okay. Like, that was a little much. Like, yeah. Well, how yeah. about this? Uh, you know, I gotta go in for a deviated septum. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> send prayers. Oh, oh how about oh, finally? Prayers. Finally, how about, your nose looks like shit. How about <laughs> this one? Dad's back in the hospital. <laughs> always, like, always. Oh, yes. All right. The constant updates right. and oh my god, like I, I, this is whenever I feel really down about Facebook or anything. I look at my own page and I go, oh, I'm also lying. Okay, <laughs> I'm also full of shit because my page looks like things are great. So that's okay. true. You don't want to put pictures own. of yourself lo- either yeah. looking ugly. No. I don't put myself up with no makeup on. Forget that. It's good to do, like, an announcement. Like, when my father died, I wrote, you know, 
I, you know, my father died today, you know, yes. and, and then everybody found out. Right. right. But it's not mm -hmm. a, a minute by minute. Right. Here's what's happening. Now. Look, the, the tube in my father's right. throat yeah. and how and he And pictures you know. of the of the things. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, I don't like the pictures. We're going back to babies. I, there's certain <laughs> pictures that people have been posting, like in the hospital, once you give birth. It's too much. Oh, I, yeah. You do not need to post that to your entire Facebook feed. Like, yeah. I think that's too personal. You mean when there's something wrong with the baby, you mean? No, no. like in the hospital when the mother's holding the baby, I think it's too much to post on Facebook. Oh, see, I, I like that. I guess I if it's just holding, it's fine, but I don't need to see cords. I just like <laughs> right in the room with every. I don't know. Like it's just it feels. So... I gotta do a Facebook live. Yeah, it yeah. feels it's so... coming out of me. <laughs> it's too intimate. I think it's okay yes, if they're breastfeeding. You know what? And, you if know, there were Facebook live, you would have done it. Carrie. I would have fucking done it. <laughs> My I... sister videotaped it, but we can't find the videotapes of oh, both what? both the births. Are you shitting me? I'm not I, I don't want anyone doing my vagina. You know, I had six guys in there when I was delivering. Oh, they um. go, do you care if we have a couple of people in here? And I'm like, no, that's fine. And then I just see all of them come in the room. And well, they the you know what happened up. to me? What? I went to uh, to this new gyno, and he goes, I'm getting a pap, and he goes, uh, state-of-the-art room. He goes, do you mind if a few students come in? But when you say a few, <laughs> oh right. I'm thinking two. Art. That's what I thought. Yes. Right. A few, two. Yes. A few is actually three. I'm in the stirrups. There's a big screen TV. Yes. And he's got this thing that he's going to go into my thing and, and look around with the, with the camera. And all of a sudden, <laughs> 40 students walk in. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. <laughs> and I was like this. Did you say get out? <laughs> No, I didn't say get out. I was like, good, everybody look. <laughs> but they couldn't really see me. I was like this, and they were all standing here. They were looking at the screen. And so they weren't then, really looking at my crotch. Back then, nobody had cameras. Bills. But, you know, it was They're a little looking. creepy. It was back a little the day. Little. They were all Asian students. <laughs> and it was like one Italian <laughs> that's kid. Why, that's why, I, like, I wouldn't, I would, after that, when I've had people say, oh, you know, blah, blah, or a gynecologist, do you mind if I, it's like, look, I've had like six, eight guys staring at my vagina with a head coming out of it, you know, with blood and the cord and that, whatever But they that have thing to is. learn somewhere. <laughs> I agree. Sense. So it didn't. I mean, it didn't really bother me. You're, you're, and you're so in yours your own is head one of the, the first that they're going to see of many of a thousands. Yes. But then, then there's that one student that drops out before you actually <laughs> make it. So he got to see your crotch <laughs> and drop out for no for reason, him. just for <laughs> just for vagina reasons. Drops for a male gynecologist, they have to call the nurse, and he's like, "Let me get the nurse," because there has to be a woman in the room. Oh, with you. that's yeah. only oh, that's yeah, only recent. With mine too. Yep. It's like no, yeah, and mine's mm -hmm. a female. She has to buzz the buzzer. Someone has to come in when oh, she's... Oh, a third party? Not with Even my with woman? lady. We, she doesn't oh, bring a third person in. Oh, she has to bring a... She buzzes the buzzer and the third person you ship comes me. in. Whoa. Oh, I don't have that. Yeah, and when there's no one there, it's usually the mailman. It's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> one of the people <laughs> waiting guy, in the waiting sure. list. <laughs> No, I don't even, guys. yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I wouldn't care. Well, I love my gynecologist. She's so cute. If I were a guy, I would be in love with her. <laughs> she's got little freckles, and she's so funny and nice. She's the only gynecologist I ever had that I like. Every other gynecologist I had was a fucking asshole. I, I don't even want to bring up my Indian gynecologist. I liked the woman because I got the epidural to both my pregnancies oh, before yeah. I even got a cramp. Really? Oh, there we go. But That's maybe awesome. you don't Smart need an know. epidural before you have a cramp. Maybe you wouldn't have needed it. No, I didn't no. need it. But I wanted it before the cramp started. But I'm going to oh. sit See, there that going, ah, yeah. 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 That's what, yeah. I, yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. I did. I didn't feel one cramp for either one of my kids. Are you shitting me? I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. I had back labor. I was <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I want to kill back myself. back labor. That's what I've been hearing about. Back the labor. Back labor. Back. So it it's like the most excruciating pain. But you had the guy kind of conscious. You should have gotten the girl. She would have given you the I had the girl. I had the Indian lady. Well, she's an idiot. Yeah, she was terrible. I'm telling you. And then I had the, what are those doula ladies? And they're like, oh, we don't believe in. And I'm like, this please, like, please, I know. please give it to me, please. No. This, it's 2018. No, it's there for a reason. Yeah. I That's the kind of. Trust it. Yeah. yeah. The she little babies the scare spinal, me, the tiny the babies. Any of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah shoot it. me up. Yeah. But, yeah. But can I tell yeah. you something? I didn't yeah. feel my legs. I said, like, oh, fuck, I don't feel my legs. <laughs> right. I can't lift my legs, but you know what? I don't feel any pain. This is fine. But you and know I was what? watching American Idol. I didn't like oh, the wow. spinal because I didn't feel my legs. I couldn't sit up. Or so they put the baby on me, Molly, to breastfeed. Oh. And it's like, 
I can't move. I'm, I was so drugged out. I'm like, I don't know where I am. Uh, take her away. Uh, and then she got on the bottles, and then I could never breastfeed. My other kid, they didn't give me the spinal. They just gave me Demerol, which, by the way, is one of my favorite drugs, but I don't take it, you know, myself. But Demerol <laughs> is like, you float, and it's like the world. I'm so fucking happy on Demerol. Anyway, they gave me Demerol. And then the Demerol wears off, and then I can breastfeed, and I walked. To, I, I left the f- fucking next morning. Well, wait, that was your princess. second kid. That's true. Yeah. That princess is ah, I walked the, the second morning. day. I had ice packs on the first baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had, like, it felt like a truck drove through me. I'm like, get me more ice packs. Spray. Spray that numb shit. I was dying. <laughs> Spray it, numb me, you motherfucker. <laughs> Did you get the knots in your ants with I the got- tucks? See, this yeah, is, this is why I don't know about fine. kids. Like, I'm I'll be honest. honest. I'm like, I got yeah. this far. I've passed out during a pap smear before, so I don't know how oh, wow. I give birth. You passed out during a pap smear? Yeah, I have a high vagal response. I passed What's out What's a vagal? Time. Vagal, I think it's vagal. Uh, it's like something vaginal? with my nerves. No, it's like oh. something when, like, if they give blood, like, I have to I have to lay down. Me too. I, I can't even get through it. I can't even get through But it's just that, yeah, that. And then one time they were doing, you know, when they do, like, the pap. And then the tiniest nurse passed down on her. It's like fight or flight. I just pass out. Like, and I warned them because it happened a few times. Yes. I was like, and then boom, nothing. I was like, guys, out. Like, I get hot, and then I'm like, Ooh, yeah. done. Well, then they yeah. can do the pap without you fucking bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> I had, be, I was going to college once, and I go to the gynecologist. And he goes, oh, you've got a precancerous cervix. Uh, I want to take a, uh, I want to burn your cervix with, I forget, cryo surgery, yes. that burn thing. So like I'm nitrogen. like, well, I'm going to college now. Like I'm le- right after here, I'm leaving for college. He goes, it's nothing. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to this. It's not going to that. He puts this thing up me. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, all I remember going was, ow! And then I fell back, and then I these people were trying to wake me up. I passed. It fucking hurts. So hurt. he finished it? He did it? Yeah, he did it. And I couldn't go to fucking drive to Potsdam College. I don't want to brag. Uh, <laughs> and I had to leave the next day. But, oh you know, it was God. so, what, yeah. they lie, and uh, but I passed Well, he down. should Just have numbed yeah. you. That's, you know, the, oh. that's from the cancerous cells on the cervix. That's from the HPV. PB. Oh, is that what I That's got it what from? That's what it is, yeah. Mm. But everybody has it. Just ba- different yeah. strands. But yeah, yeah, everybody has it. But back then, they didn't tell me it was HPV. They didn't, they didn't yeah. know it's new. It I feel like it's a new in the past. They probably like, made you feel bad. They Pre-cancer. probably made you feel but bad. But I, yeah. I, right. I yes. still wouldn't give my kid that shot. No, I don't think. Yeah, I don't even get the flu shot. Is that bad? I don't get that. There are girls that have gotten that HPV shot, and by the third shot, they're completely, like, crippled. Are you shitting me? And they don't know it until the third shot. Okay, here's the thing. Fuck I got, I got it, but I was like... Did you get it? I was, I was like 20. I, when I, whenever I went to the gynecologist, they were like, it's a new thing. Like, you're just at the age, like, I think 26 was Yeah, but if you've already had three there. partners, if you've already had three partners, yeah. you tell Guys, over. I really I don't have much of a sex life. <laughs> I don't think I have that many. So you did the HPV? Uh, yeah, I did it. And I, there was no... <laughs> I, was, I was not expecting you to say that. There there's, no, <laughs> there's no proof. That's why Germany came in strong. They're <laughs> getting that gold in there. <laughs> Guys, I really... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say too much because it's on Facebook, <laughs> but I... <laughs> I okay, that's, that's good. Right. That's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> we're, it's, we're but the here's prime, the thing. Megan. I know. <laughs> I feel like, although, do you feel that? I feel like after 35, like right now, my body's having like a going out of business sale. I'm getting crazy turned on. Like my body's oh, like, yes. let's oh, go. 32. I'm like a let's 19-year-old go. boy. 32. I'm like, you better hydrate. Insane. Get ready. Oh, Round my two God. Is it's like, uh, especially like when, I'm, when I know I'm ovulating, it's like my body. I'm like, oh, my God. Do I have to go home right now and take care of this? This is out of control. <laughs> Let me tell you. 32. 32 is when it's. 45 was my, the height of my sa- uh, that and luckily that's when I met Kevin that's the only reason <laughs> Kevin's interested in me I could fuck we went on vacation I fuck we fucked four times before we went out to dinner like yes, fuck that's what I'm finish, talking about finish, <laughs> finish yes. fuck again finish Fuck, finish, fuck, finish. But now, is Kevin, right. how old is right. Kevin? Like He's he was, three years younger than me. Okay, so he's got great stamina. He yeah, does. That's right, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We need Stay. that. Because yeah. you can't yeah. be messing around. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. I can't. Yeah. That's, a, that's a deal breaker for me. People uh, got to keep up. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah, Thank you. Can. I'm an athletic person. <laughs> I'm not that athletic. Well, I mean, yeah. But it's you like are, you got to, yeah. you know, I stayed hydrated. So yeah. you got to keep this going. Yeah. Like, you just got to, I just, this is unacceptable. If I'm making a trip and you live an hour away, you better have a nice turnaround. You better get ready. I Get the pills out. Do what you gotta do. Listen, this was a twenty-eight dollar Metro North ride. You yeah, better hurry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You better satisfy Thank you. me. <laughs> that's true. If you don't have a good lover, fucking move on. Yeah, that's not. Right? Yeah, that's that's oh. a deal breaker. Yeah. Forget about. I can't that. move anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have ch- when you have children, it's different. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, anyway. All right. Um, all right. So should we move on to the next topic? What time yeah. is it? It is now 6. Uh, 15, so How long have we been doing it? We're at an hour? We're an hour. Okay. okay, can we do one other topic? It's a, it's yeah, a news topic. Yes. Let's talk about this. Okay, um, I want to talk about the Starbucks thing. Is it racist? Is it not? Because then I'm going to tell you an experience that my daughter's had at Starbucks. So go ahead. I want to know, is it racist? Is it not racist? What do you think? And also, Carrie had a restaurant, so I want Carrie's so intake. So the whole thing was just... And you just, work at a and restaurant. I, and I work at a restaurant. So the okay. whole thing was just so I would, just want to make sure I got my facts all straight. Well, so I don't even know if I have my facts straight. Is that two African-American men sat down in a Starbucks. We call them black. Black. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. In Philadelphia. Yes. And they didn't order anything. Yes. And they were told to leave because they hadn't ordered anything. They were waiting no, for a friend. No, 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 no. Oh, well, they were waiting for okay. a friend. Go ahead, I Megan. was watching... I figured we might talk about this, so I was watching information about this today. Go ahead. They came in. One of the guys asked for the bathroom code. The woman said, sorry, you have to be a customer. He went, sat back down. Then she went over and said, can I get you guys anything? And they're like, no, we're fine. And then she called 911. Like, that's that crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Uh, like, that's not management skills at all. Like, that's not managing a restaurant. And it's a corporate douchebag service. But, like, it's not even your place of business. Like, I didn't go over and say, hey, I want to call the police. Hey, there's an issue, which still would have been extreme. But to say, like, oh, Oh, okay. You guys, first of all, when have you ever been to Starbucks? Someone comes out to your table and goes, "Can I get you anything?" That's not even Starbucks. It's no, bizarre. Not- <laughs> and then I'm gonna go call nine one one immediately, and that's a waste of cops' time. That's a wait. It's not an emergency. Like, that, did that they was say they? Did she ask them to leave though, or she didn't ask them to leave? Oh, 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 from what I saw, and then I was watching them on like the See, uh, I can't Today get the- Show thing. No, yeah. she like she went. They went over and said, "Are you guys good?" And they said, "No, we have waters. We're okay." We're, they said, "We're waiting for. We have a, a real friend. estate guy. We're waiting on him." And this all like they have the times of when they walked in and when the call was placed it was like within did anyone ever think that it could have been a complete setup between the manager and the three guys what do you mean by that like in other words (laughs) that's gonna definitely make the news no i don't think and they'll split the money that they're gonna get from no No, oh, that is it. Oh, look at you. Conspiracy theory. I, don't, I haven't conspiracy seen anybody uh, come up with that. All right, here's well, what I want to say. It is yeah. corporate. It's Starbucks. When someone it's comes corporate. up okay, to my... So you think it's crazy and it's racist. Here's Go what ahead, I say. Carrie. Well, I ahead. think it's a little racist. And I, I know, Carrie, and I'll, and I'll let you definitely talk because I know you have had a restaurant. But if it's different if it's like a coffee shop. People are known to just hang out. Like if you had a restaurant, I'm sure you would go over and say if you don't. Oh, go ahead. You well, said, I go ahead. said, go ahead. you got to get out. Ooh, right. You gotta, mm-hmm. What can I get for you? It's customers only, whatever. But if they come in to use my bathroom, I always let them use the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I've actually had homeless people use my bathroom, and then I'd have to go in and bleach yeah. the whole know, thing yeah. down because they're in there for like an hour and a half. Because they're, they're showering. Up. They're yeah. doing. You should deny anyone of a bathroom. <laughs> yes, I agree. You're a fucking piece of shit if you deny someone of a bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Second, if you're in my restaurant and you're, you're you're drunk and you're sleeping on my thing, I have to throw you out. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I've done that. You know, drunk girl. She would come in there all the time and cause trouble. And one time, I didn't I didn't physically touch her, but I was very close to it. I just kept <laughs> pushing her like <laughs> and up. And I got around. But like you said, when you're you know when you're known for letting people hang out and you know do their work and. You went up to two black guys, you know, that's racist. That's completely racist to me. But how am I responsible as Starbucks? How do I know? I, I've got 7 million Starbucks all around the country. How do I know that I just hired a racist person? I don't know that. In other it's words, if you're Mr. Starbucks, you don't want to take you responsibility. You can't boycott Starbucks for one asshole, mm-hmm. for one racist asshole. But I don't know that she's racist. But go ahead, and then I'll tell you. You don't what know I she's think. racist. The, I, they were you, black. I'll tell you what I think. Well, we have a one of the places where I work um, during. You know, it's a sports bar, so people come in to watch the games. Well, you have to buy something. You can't just come in and watch the games for free. Get a two dollar soda. Fine. That's right. Well, one guy kept doing it during basketball season, and boom, spotted him. We were all like, he can't come back in here anymore because he'll sit down. We're like, oh, can I get you something, sir? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And you go back over a few minutes later, did you need some more time? Like, what can I get you, sir? Like, can I do my fake smile? I got my voice on. And he's like, no, nah, fine. Why are you pressuring me? Well, now you're giving me an attitude. Now you can go because you're not going to order anything. And then you, he would move to other parts of the bar. And I'm like, no. And he's taking up a spot taking where up a spot yeah, doesn't where you can smell make your great. Tips. 
So he came in a few other times. They're like, he's 86. He's not allowed to come in because he doesn't order anything and just wants to watch the games. So he came in once during football season last year, brought in a fruit cup, a fruit cup, a very <laughs> fancy <laughs> fruit cup, and a plastic fork, and proceeds to eat. And we all saw him. And it's three women, and we're all 5'8 and above. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, sorry, sir. And I went over very nicely. I was like, I'm sorry, you're just not allowed in here. And he's you like, you can't you bring in food from another place. You but cannot. First, yeah, you can't. So that was that's a big rule <laughs> with the owner. And so and there's cameras everywhere in the bar. And then I said, you know, you can't be in here, but why can't, why can't I be in here? Because you don't ever order anything and you're just here to watch the games. And so finally he left and like another customer stood up because he was yelling. And then when he left, he slammed on like the outdoor window. Oh and my so, God. But he hasn't been back in yet, but they zoomed in. And like, cause I was getting a little fired up. Cause I was like, no, you have to leave. Like, that's just kind yeah. of what. Yeah, I'm yeah. not that friendly. Yeah, well, I'm like, you gotta go <laughs> now. Well, at that point, <laughs> now you yeah, gotta go. Right. Yeah, Get fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, tiptoe around this asshole. <laughs> I can't. I, but here's here's okay, the thing. Okay, then I'll tell you what I think. She let Why is this a woman. Bringing? She let a woman stay there and not order anything. So, See, that's like an, that. yeah. yeah and she was go, white. Come on. Okay, well, that yeah, part I didn't hear because then that does look racist. Because, okay, no, to then me, that, is that is racist. Yeah. So, for me, when I used to work at Rubens Delicatessen, um, <laughs> people would come in. 19, what? 50? It, it was like in the fucking 70s, I think. Rubens 1979. Del anyway. Patty. It, 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 they closed like two years later. But anyway, I'm working at the deli, and uh, the people, there's a guy who comes in, and his friend came in with him, and one guy is eating, and another guy brought a bagged lunch. No. And see. the guy, the owner of the place goes, go over and tell that guy he's got to go. And it's like so embarrassing, because you know what, like, uh, the other guy comes in all the time, and I go, oh, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to bring food into the restaurant, uh, or we're going to have to ask you to leave. He goes, seriously? He goes, I'm just with my friend, but I brought a bagged lunch, and... Uh, and I yeah, go, I let them stay. I go, you can't Honestly. eat it while you're in here. You yeah. can eat it later when you go back to the office. But my boss That's just bullshit. told me. Now, okay. if my, one customer's eating and the other one doesn't want my food and he wants pizza from the pizzeria next door, I let them do that. I'm like, if you want to go get pizza, go get pizza. As long as he's eating here, you could eat here with him. Oh, well, that my boss I did that, and little kids would made me go pizza. over and tell. Okay, yeah. so here's well, I would have told my boss, you go over there. Right, right, yeah, right. Because yeah. you yeah. just You're lost. Doing. I was afraid of losing my two, job. Two yeah. customers. Yes, right, right. Two I, customers. I know. Okay, here's the second thing. So, I didn't know that she let a girl stay in there without buying she anything. She did. And, okay, then that is racist. Okay, but here's the <laughs> other thing where I don't think sometimes it's not racist when things happen because my kids, both my daughters went to see Fallout Boy. This was like a million years ago. I remember they were in high school or college or whatever, and they went down to the city, and they had to be there at 5 o'clock in the morning for Good Morning America, you know, oh, when you yeah. stand outside. So anyway, so they stopped or went to uh, a, a Starbucks after, and they're sitting there, and they both fell asleep, like, against the wall, the two of them, at, like, 6 o'clock, whatever time it was. And they're woken up by a police officer, and the police officer said, you have to go. You're not allowed to stay in here, and you're sl you go we're going to have homeless people coming in here. You can't be sleeping. But my kids are white. So, I mean, sometimes people are kicked out of Starbucks. Yeah, but was... And they're white. Were they arrested and put in a, for nine hours? No, they were not. <laughs> no, no. Like no, nine hours not. of Were they shot to death? <laughs> no, well, they, those guys weren't shot to death. Here's but, what I, I think the honestly the police this is just in my own like head. I think the police probably kept them there that long because they went, There's no way this is the real story. This is crazy. You really just wanted to use the bathroom and this woman called nine one one. Like this can't be real. Like this is it. Like this is well, a look, joke. Philly, like, come Philly on. is Philly is a rough city. It's not it's you know, so when they get calls, they're they're ready. Yeah, nine one one call is serious. I just think the cops and the I just think people have gone crazy and I think I I think Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of racism. Like I get the taking. Yeah, there the is. I get there plenty. Is. I there get is. all that Look, stuff. There's but a lot of weird cops out there that do bad things to, to black yes, people. Yes, I agree. That that that, that you know, sh kill, killing them for no reason. But then there's also a lot of black people that kill cops that we don't see on every f turn. So it, I, I think it's it's an even thing. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's even, but I do think. Uh, you know, I got cops in my family. And, you know, my, my Kevin's sister's a cop. And, you know, whenever she hears people, you know, saying bad things about cops or whatever, she goes, really? Well, why don't, why don't these people go up during a domestic dispute and open a door and get and, shot in the yeah, face and, get see shot in the face well, no, and they, then they, see how trigger they happy they are? Well, you know? they have a video of cops. They put together like a montage 
like cops just walking over doing a routine can I have your license and getting shot to death and falling right. down and and showing all right. these cops it was like one after another after another I was like, where'd you oh, see that on Facebook oh my when god it was taken down since oh yeah that's pretty violent that's pretty but it was like because what was happening was they were showing all the videos of this black guys getting shot right which no one should get shot. Right, right. 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 We're so trigger happy. But it's like yeah. crazy. Years ago, no one got shot. No one, cops didn't shoot. They, yeah, maybe they did one, like, not like now. Oh, they, it's, but yeah. they showed these cops getting taken down one, for nothing, coming to the side of the car, and boom, 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 and the car takes off. Yeah, yeah. And the cop goes down, he's done. It's a yeah. scary job. It's a scary yeah. job. Yeah. And I think a lot of these cops have lost their mind. Of they get being in that constant fear yeah they get nervous and that's what i feel like the only way like the guy i follow online that i love is the free hugs project i don't know if you guys what's free hugs project uh ken i don't know his last name i gotta look it up but it's free hugs project he started uh like maybe two years ago when everything was happening in dallas with the the cops getting shot and everything and uh and he just started giving people hugs and started hugging cops oh, wait, hugging police officers. That. and it's like yeah. gone viral and from there he started like a whole activism campaign and cops have reached out to him he's reached out to them he goes and speaks in like campuses like worldwide where he's like we have to be communicating like we can't just be controlled by what's ever going up there whatever the media is like did you see the two like, swedish cops out. did you see the two swedish cops that or whatever they were from another country they were visiting and uh they apprehend they they took a guy down with just no guns nothing and did the guy have a gun Uh, i don't even know oh but they they put him down and they handcuffed him and they whatever they did but they were saying you know you don't have to be trigger happy you you know you don't have to be trigger happy the way some of these cops are well you know they because uh let me finish go ahead i saw a video I saw a video of this white guy, but see, this is another thing. How many videos are there of the cops shooting white guys too? There is it's a, not a news story. There I is think it's a all being manipulated. There's there not is a, news a story. study of a guy. I, I there was a black guy. I think I said this before, and he was really upset about all the shootings of black people. And then, and he's black, and I think he works for the New York Times. And he said, instead of me marching and doing all this, I'm going to do research and I'm going to write a, an article about it. And he said he did research and he found out that it was almost the same number of white people being shot by cops as black people. He said he didn't like that because he was going in it thinking, I'm going to really reveal these cops for doing what they're doing. But they shoot anybody. And he said that it was almost 50-50 with shooting white people and shooting black people, what the cops shoot. Yeah, I think it's just... just but, you know, more of a news story if it's a black guy, white cop. Well, what about the black cops that shoot black guys? There's no story there. But the white guy shooting the black guy. But it's a story, and it's a manipulation, and, and then it and creates it. more of a distrust, which creates more violence, which, which is they right. can keep so controlling they, us. They, they, they can keep, keep controlling us. They make it about race. It's not anger. about class. Right. They're making oh, yeah. Anger. It all goes away, and then all of a sudden a story comes up, right, as everything's going fine. It's all being, we're all being manipulated. I got right. You know what? I'll tell you. We got pulled over once, and I was dating a guy who was uh, black, bo- a biker. Mm. And <laughs> close a biker. biker, and uh, I, I'll never forget it. We were in Pennsylvania, and all of a sudden he made a U-turn, which was whatever, and he pulls us over, and he goes, "Step out of the car." And I step go, "Step out of the car, oh. right?" So I go, "What did he do, officer?" He goes, "Step out of the car." He gets out of the car. He grabs him. He flips him over, and he bashes him onto the hood of my car. We were going to a comedy gig. It was me, <laughs> Frank D'Amico, and my and my boyfriend, and he puts his hand underneath his crotch and he starts squeezing his balls. Why? Now, I'm like, what? And we were in the middle of nowhere. So, had he shot him, he could have planted a gun. Like, you are completely helpless in that situation. So, I go, I go, excuse me, what did we do? (laughs) You know, and then all of a sudden he goes, my my boyfriend turned around, he goes, get the fuck in the car. Right, 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 just get in. Why? Why? I go, we're comedians and we're going to a benefit. <laughs> and I just kept talking and he was like, get the fuck in the car. Because the more I was talking, I guess the more he was squeezing his <laughs> Why balls. Why is he squeezing his balls? I don't now? know. And there was two of them. And the other cop was walking around the car and he was like looking in the car. He's like, is there any drugs in this car? I'm like, what, no. what state was this? Pennsylvania. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And oh, it, was a very, it was a very scary moment because You're so had he resisted yeah. and fought him, he yeah. could have shot him yeah. and said, you know, there was no cameras back. This was 1990. Mm-hmm. So he would have shot him, and he was a white guy. But because he had tattoos and he looked mean, he was scared of him. 
Mm-hmm. But it was, I was so angry and I was like, what the fuck? We were completely helpless in that situation. So a lot of times. You can see how people. You mm-hmm. can't. Be, if someone says put your hands up, just put your yeah, fucking you just hands up. Comply. Eddie, Eddie your Clark. Hands up. Did you see Eddie Clark's thing on Facebook? He's a comic, a black guy. And he said that he was uh, uh, walking his dog, uh, I guess at night, and he was wearing a hoodie. And this cop stops him, and I guess, do you have his gun drawn? I can't remember. But he's saying to him, uh, you know, uh, put your hands up. And he's, like, putting his hands out. And he says, look, I'm, I used to be a police officer, you know. Uh, and one of his hands was in his pocket because it was cold outside. He's got the dog. And he said, all of a sudden, and they were looking for a black guy, I guess in a hoodie or whatever. But he said he understood how all these guys feel when all you're doing is walking your dog in a hoodie and you're being stopped by cops and they're like slowly pull your hand out and slowly and he's thinking you know what if i had moved my hand the wrong way pulling it out of my sweatshirt and he goes meanwhile i'm a i was a cop and and but i look like a black guy in a hoodie you know what right I mean? you're not a cop anymore but so you go like this th- and if they feel like or let's say your cell phone falls out and they think it's a gun they yeah, shoot yeah, they, you to death i mean these they, cops don't shoot to injure they shoot to kill which i think they shouldn't I think you but, should shoot the kneecaps out. Uh-huh. Y- you ever watch... Um, Why do you have to kill somebody? Do you ever watch uh, Murder I, Chose yeah. Me? Murder... or well, Anyway, one of these... What, all these kind of shows. Murder but, Chose Me. But I love these shows. But these cops, they say, you know, when somebody... The guys, you know, they do these reenactments. And he said, you know, there is a young boy... But he's black. But he said that, you know, when he opens the door and this kid has a gun and he's just shot a woman at a... A Korean market and somebody else. He goes, when the door is being open, my gun is drawn and I am ready to shoot to kill because I'm not going to get killed. And he's a black no, officer. You talking can't about blame them. Look, like that one and guy who it. tackled the cop. Yeah. If if I'm saying to a guy, if I'm a cop and I'm saying to a guy who's six foot five, I don't care what color you are. You're six foot five and you're coming at me and I'm telling you, put your hand up, stop right there. And you're still coming at me. I'm not going to die. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's mm-hmm. how they feel. Right. What were you going to say? No, there was, what was it, last month in Brooklyn, there was a guy that was, uh, he has mental issues, and they did yeah. shoot him, and he did pass away, but he was walking around with like a Oh, a thing a that looked like a gun. That he was, put, uh, that's a, that's a but tough But he was pl- saying things like, stick him up. He yeah, I saw the video, NYPD, I followed scary. them on Instagram, and they put up the videos that they got, because there was a lot of reaction where people were like, Get, white people got to get to know their community, and this is a guy that had a shower rod. And then you watch the videos of it, and the 911 transcript, and, yeah, and he's going up to people, like and the people he's going him. up to are not white, and he's in their face, and he's doing, and people are ducking, and yeah. the, there's he, they put up all the transcripts of these mm-hmm. calls, and the people are people saying, saying he 100 percent has a gun, he's threatening right. us, we're, like mm-hmm. the calls were people who were terrified. So I don't know what the answer is there. Again, maybe it's just not well, shoot to kill. You yeah, shoot maybe to injure and you take somebody in. Shoot to injure and but figure you, it out later. If you shoot but, to mm-hmm. injure and you hit well, them how about in the, the knee, guy they I can saw, kill you I then. Saw a video, kill you. I saw a video of a guy in a wheelchair. And he was obviously either on drugs or whatever. He was crazy. And they would tell him to put his hands up. And they, he didn't put his hands up. He wouldn't put his hands up. But he was obviously he was screaming and he was talking and he was looking around. And he was like crazy. And they shot him to death. And I'm like, what, what kind of... How, how do you just do that? Mm-hmm. You know, in Toronto, uh, you know, the thing that how just do happened. How do you just in, do that? I don't know. I, I, in I in Toronto, they that. took that guy down who was shooting people or whatever that thing happened uh, without shooting him. And the guy go- said to the cop, shoot me in the head. Go ahead. Shoot me in the head. And he didn't. And he took him down. And that guy had a gun. He took him down without killing him. So I mean, You don't have to kill them. You don't have to kill people. you, you got to have can, a lot of balls to but do they, that, though. But it, I think it is an oh, equal it's, number. It's, or it might even be more white guys. There might be more I, white I guys, do. but they only, just like you said, they manipulate the system. Yeah. I mean, the the, 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 the to press. To cause more of a distrust, to cause more of a crime. To, to, to separate it's, us. Yes, to separate us. So then we are easily manipulated, and then they can control us, and there's, like, puppets working above. But I do think <laughs> there is crazy, a lot of, I do. I do think there is a lot of racism, though. Of with, course. With when they, <laughs> you know, you, you, oh, yeah. you don't give them the benefit <laughs> of the doubt when you see he's black or he's got a... Wait, wait, oh, what? yeah, they're afraid. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're afraid. They're afraid. One, one other Even thing. Even black cops. Yeah, no, I know. Well, a Doesn't lot of matter. these Hispanic, killings. Hispanic. A yeah. lot of these killings that happened, the guy in, uh, the the young kid who was walking down the middle of the road, th- they were, and, and the choking, the uh, Garner. Eric Garner. That, it was a black, mm-hmm. um, she was uh, the, the woman in charge, the whatever she was, the, I can't think of the name. But anyway, she was black. So there were a lot of black people involved in some of these shootings. But here's the other thing. Okay, here's another thing, though. Well, how about the guy that they choked to death? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, what I'm talking that about. That was sad. That, that, was, fuck was, that was terrible. That was, awful. that was terrible. They're still it's like, in I court can't with breathe. Right now. I mean, get yep. the fuck off me! I know, yeah. that was, uh, that that was, was terrible. And also the one 
with the guy in the car who's with his girlfriend and the yes. little girl in the back. <sighs> and that little girl is like, mommy, mommy, you know, and they just shot him. To, he had his hands up. They but shot him. so now what was the video before? Was he grabbing for the gun? You only saw the part of the video that she showed. What actually? But he should have never shot in the car mm -hmm. with the little girl. In the yeah, car. I don't that's know, terrible. That part terrible. I don't get how that's how it's not reckless endangerment to the other people in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's there's right. a lot. You know, like of, and this was an Asian cop. He wasn't white. He was Asian. The guy who did that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's yeah. um, here's the one la last thing I'm going to say about with the racism. Uh, I had a guy. Uh, I see this guy walking around my house. He's black. And he's walking around my property, walking up in the front, looking in the windows, doing all sorts of stuff. I walk outside. I go, hey, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm an assessor. About you. And uh, if you want to walk on my property, you're going to have your office call me and let me know what's going on. Because I'm yeah. not going to let somebody, I don't know yeah, what no. he's doing. Maybe he's looking for a door to come in. Like, uh -huh. I'm not going to let someone in my property. So he goes, oh, it's all right. Uh, they called you earlier. I think your husband knows about oh, it. Oh, no, blah, no. Blah. Get out. I Get go, out. So I go, let me call my husband. I call him. He's, I can't reach him. I go, no, you're going to have to leave until somebody from your office calls me. He goes, okay. So I shut the door. I go back inside. He doesn't leave. He's walking around. He's looking at me, doing this, doing that. I, I go out and I go, I want to see a card. I want to see some. Uh, uh, which some is already tough because you're already being very vulnerable and your door's open. Which yeah. is what yeah, they I want know, you to do. It's usually a team. So he mm -hmm. hands me. But I, I come out of my house like. I'm standing in my front. So he gives me a card, and there's no picture on the card. It's just there's like a cutout where the face goes. It's like a cutout like you could look through it. I go, well, this looks really bad. It looks like you cut out somebody's picture. I don't want you here. I yeah. need you to leave. And he goes, okay. So then I go back in. He's still not leaving. I call 911. Oh, yeah, I go, there's yeah, a no, guy on my property. Yeah. He won't leave. So uh, the police guy, he had driven black out. Black guy, black guy, what color? He, he was black. So I said to him, the police are coming, you know, just so you know. So he left when I finally told him that. Yeah. So the police find him down the road. They come back to my house. They go, he is an assessor. Everything's fine. I go, well, you have no, to understand. So no. I go, he no. didn't have ID. Nobody yeah. called me to tell me he was coming. And I, it just seemed weird that he's walking around my house and won't, won't leave when I ask him to. So no, he's in the wrong. You have to leave your property. The office calls me up, and she goes to me. You could have gotten that guy shot and killed. She got, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, I wanted him to get He wouldn't leave when I asked him. Like, if, And so the woman goes to me, you're racist, she goes to me. She goes, I've never had anybody call in about an assessor uh, going. And she goes, it's because he's black. It's because he's black. And, and this is the woman from the office. I go, that is not why I That's called That's not in. why. I, yeah. a, I married a gay man. I'm not racist. <laughs> I had it. But, so similar something happened to me with that. Go ahead. No, go no. Ahead. But I mean, so I just felt like here I am being accused of being racist, but he had no ID except a little. So you would have done that with anybody, a white guy, anybody. That is yeah. what I'm I, saying. Uh, of that course. It wasn't out I of agree. Racism. I'm not racist like, either. I don't want but, you know, people. Get the fuck off my property. That's the thing. I don't want you in my around my Sometimes property. Sometimes I tell my husband if he doesn't show ID, he's got to <laughs> fucking get off the property. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened to you, Teresa? I have um, in my apartment, it was like 4.30 in the afternoon, and you have to buzz to be let in the building. It's not mm. a doorman, but I heard a knock on my door, like right outside my door. And I was like, I didn't buzz anybody in. And so I was getting ready for work in the afternoon. It was still light out. And I, I didn't look out because I was like, maybe they're just walking around giving, you know, whatever, flowering it up. And then knocked again. And I like looked out, and I saw, because there's a staircase that goes up to the roof, and I saw a black guy sitting there. And I was like, okay, who was just sitting right outside my door like that's, that would that's weird that was weird and yeah. so I was like I didn't let anybody in like I don't know then I heard commotion because I'm right outside the elevator so I figured people were gone so I was getting ready to leave for work and I had texted my boyfriend at the time I was like oh there's like someone knocked my door that's random like I should like get a baseball bat or something just like whatever just no, that's gonna and <laughs> that's gonna work and so Wait, take it gun. out of your hand and then beat you with it yeah <laughs> so I look out the guy's still sitting there and I like I freaked out then because I was like I don't want to open my door and then be pushed right back into my apartment I was like I don't know who's sitting out there I don't know what's going on it's been right. 45 minutes at this point so I um, I called my boyfriend to come over and and then I called 911 because I was like I don't care like yeah. I, do, I do not like yeah, you want to be able to walk yeah, out of your apartment I have to go to work I don't care and so, so because it? it was my next door neighbor's boyfriend <laughs> 
And he, but then he started knocking quietly on the door. Teresa, like, or he didn't say Teresa, but he started knocking quietly. And I'm like, he that would freak he, me out. Yeah, he locked himself out. I don't have a key to your apartment. Right, yeah, I yeah. don't know why you thought you should be knocking on my door like that as a woman. Like, why wouldn't he say who he is exactly. if he's banging on your door? Say like, who Teresa, you are. I'm so and so. It's so and so from next door. Like the exterminator does. Exterminator. Like you know who it is. <laughs> Housekeeping. Like so, today. I would, that would be so creepy. I would be like. Uh, I would run. I would, I so run. so then, like, oh, oh, but then the my boyfriend come? shows up, and then he's like, "Oh, whoa, the guy's a lot bigger than me." And he's like, "He's like, <laughs> I'm waiting for my girlfriend." He's like, "That's my girlfriend." And then I was like, "Oh wait, this sounds bad." And I could hear it all unravel. <laughs> and then the police, like, we went downstairs. Then and I was like, "Well, you didn't even I like say who you were." And then right. the police officer shows up, and he's good looking. But then I see the situation, <laughs> and it's like white girl, white guy with a beard, black guy. I was like, "Well, boy, don't I look racist right yeah, now? No, don't I look?" I was like, "Listen, I'm protecting myself." But if and if he would have been white, then it would have been no. Question. Yeah, but I was like, today mm-hmm. I, I, I'm in my bed sleeping, and the doorbell's ringing and ringing, and I'm looking on my cameras, and I'm like, I don't know this fucking guy. Little guy, mm-hmm. little white, oh, Spanish guy, little white Spanish guy, whatever. I guess Spanish guy, not white, but he's <laughs> got a he's got a hood on. <laughs> I'm not fucking opening the door. Go fuck yourself. I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. I never. Turns my out door. it's a landscaper. I owe him four hundred dollars for my. <laughs> From last year. <laughs> From last year you owe him money, Carrie. Oh, I remember my husband. We owe him. He goes, yeah, I, I remember something. I go, 400? <laughs> that's a long time. That's so I wrote him a check. So, Adam, you're not getting your $50. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I gave him his check. And then he goes, you want spring cleanup? I go, how much? He's like, 200. Yes. I was like, yeah, do it. Just fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's funny. absolutely. But I wasn't good. opening the door to give a fuck well, who it was. Well, because you're like, unless you called someone, it's not all like, unless I called someone yeah. over, yeah. why are you at my door? See, it was, <laughs> a bad, it was a bad idea to open the door, even mm-hmm. later. Oh, my because husband got home. Work. My husband was home. Later, the door rang. He rang it again at like 1230. And I go to my husband, who the fuck is that? I go, he keeps co- and then I go, don't open it. He opens it. It's the fucking landscape of $400 bill. <laughs> I go, see, I told you it was a bad, bad idea to open that door. Well, then they were also saying, people I remember that I worked with because I went to work right after that. They were like, well, didn't you say who is it? I was like, no. I'm a woman behind the door. Who is it? Like, right. Right. I, right. I, like that no. Totally, I didn't even think of that. I was like, I I've watched too many Dateline episodes with my dad. I was like, I know what happens. I was like, no, I'm not. Who is it? Avon. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> who is it? What was that thing? It was a land shark. Oh, yeah. Oh, Candy, right, right, right. Candy, Candy Graham. Graham. Candy, Candy Graham. Graham. Candy Graham. No, I mean, but I called the police on anything. I had a guy jerking <laughs> off outside my apartment. He was jerking off in the stairwell. And he was my next door neighbor's boyfriend, but he was a heroin addict. And he's laying, and I had to walk over him to get to my apartment. He's like, bum, bum, bum. He's jerking off, but he's like oh. out of it. <laughs> and I stepped over him. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I was waitressing. And I'm he like, grabbed you like. No, but he didn't. Thank white, God. White guy? A white guy. And I get in the apartment. I lock the door. I go, I call the. I call 911. I go, there's a guy jerking off in my hallway. I had to step <laughs> over him. Can you come, like, get him out of there? And then it turned out that he you know went with the girl down the hall and she was a dry she's the one who came in my apartment and fucking tried to steal from me. anyway they were both heroin <laughs> addicts I couldn't get her out of my apartment I couldn't get him out of the hallway but you know I call on people if they're jerking off in my hallway I, I call on people too you know I mean but I have cameras and I have everything and, and I just I look before I open the door oh, oh yeah I, 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 yeah. I don't you know, I my door is See through, so you could see who's there. Oh, yes. that's. So I, was like, uh, you know, I usually, uh, I open. We have our living rooms right there. So my move is, I open the window and I go, "Yeah, can I help you?" Like I look out the window instead of opening the door. Oh, because you're <laughs> on the first floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they just stand there, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, no, okay, bye." Shut the are you in a house or you're yeah, in an apartment? Yeah, it's like a mid-level of a house. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> I had two Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> oh, yeah. come oh, to my Oh, they're the door. worst. My mom and was always like, duck, duck. Knocking, <laughs> or the, during like door. the election season, can you sign up for, go, oh, goodbye, goodbye. Go. We had a Jehovah's right, Witnesses go. in my We got to wrap it up, guys. Oh? oh Adam's okay. got another podcast right Coming after in, this. Yeah. Okay, All listen, right. you got we got a million other things to talk about. Where are you guys going to be? Yeah, I'm going to be tomorrow night. No, Thursday night I'm going to be at McGuire's on Long Island doing a benefit. Out in Bohemia, and I'm also going to be at the comic strip Yay. Friday Whoa, night, eight, right eight, eight o'clock show and ten o'clock. So, so if you're in the city, come to the comic strip. Yes. Saturday, I have a private party, but that's uh, that's my big week. Very nice. And, uh, Megan Hanley, what do you have um, coming up? Semi coming up. I'm going to be at the Borgata um, in Atlantic City. Um, wow. May 12th through 18th. Did Ooh. you get there with the uh, old bookers or the new bookers? The new bookers. Oh, the new I got to call the new bookers. 12th right. through 18th, if anybody is uh, an AC. It's only five days, not seven I'll days. Be- 
Uh, no, yeah, no, but that's sometimes seven. twelve through eighteen. But there's no show on the seventeenth. So oh, 16. okay. But they usually have, nice. like sometimes they have a big act coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. I got. <laughs> what do you got? I had a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have something good. Uh, I have a show in Washington Heights next Tuesday yeah. night. That's Beautiful, exciting. What's it, what's it called? Um, that's a great question, and I don't even know where it is right now. I just wrote it in my calendar: show Washington Heights. <laughs> and then I'm in Connecticut next Friday, and then I'll be at the Dark Horse sometime next month. What's the Dark Horse? A bar? It's a comedy club. Oh, a comedy at the club. Downstairs of a we bar. Don't I don't know the dark horse. Yes. Yes. They do a great job. Who so books they it? sell out um Adam Strauss. Yeah. We gotta look so they up. do a great job. Do Where is it located Rebecca. in Manhattan? Oh, it's on Murray in? Streets. Oh, very nice. So take the train down to Chambers. And very then nice. Walk the downtown a of scene. All right. Mm-hmm. The downtown. Well, we want to thank you guys wait, for coming. Wait, wait, oh, where are you? Show. And uh, what about me? Oh, okay. Also. Oh, Pat, oh, get <laughs> your notes. Excuse me, Karen get your notes. <laughs> uh, East Hanover Police Fundraiser uh, at e- in East Hanover, New Jersey. But they're With, not, no one's coming for that because it's private. But how is it private, a police fundraiser? It's open to the public. Well, usually it's just Look at that area. But Bob DeBono, Gary Veter, and Gary. Johnny Lampert, and I think Johnny Lampert's on it, and me. Great show. Be a four great, man great, show. Show. great show. That'll be fun. So if you're around there, and also don't forget to say your uh, your sports thing. Oh, I have a little web series Megan called Sports Hanley. Tabata, but I pretty much give up on it every two weeks. So it's it on its way out. Sports, sports Tabata. Tabata? Tabata. Tabata. T-A-B-A-T-A. Like Tabata. Tabata. tabata like the workout. <laughs> sports, t- like the Tabata T-A-B-A-T-A. workout. T-A-B-A-T-A. It's a type I of workout. It's hit training. Maybe tabata. that's why people aren't tuning in enough, because no one knows what the fuck Tabata I, is. I heard Tabata. I heard Tabata. Me too. Sports Delicious. Tabata. Oh, and anyway. we're here with Adam Hineker from the Rec Room. Adam. And live Thank you, Adam. The 82nd and, and second at the Comic Strip Live. And also, please uh, what's subscribe. The subscribe and leave us. I can't think of words anymore. Yes, Review. Give us a five star. <laughs> we never even looked at our fucking yeah, comments five today. People, it's just like, five people watching. I'm it's like, just us. <laughs> Regina just sent me a text. I so love that Regina exciting. DiCicco. We didn't Regina? even look at I'm sorry. We didn't read the comments today. We got so into these women telling us about their... <laughs> Sex, sex lives, lives <laughs> that we fucking, and then we were talking about racism, which is just four white women talking about racism. Oh, yeah. Are you classified as white? <laughs> <It's our job. laughs> I don't know if I'm white. Greeks are white. Right I know we need a black person next time to talk about racism. All right, All right everybody, thank you. All thank right. you. Right. Bye. 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 Thank you, girls. Thank you, ladies. Really, I'm blending through these ears. I'm